そして本日ここ大阪の地ではまた新たな歴史の1ページが作られようとしています TWT2019 ウェルプレイドチャレンジャー開幕ですみなさんこんにちはこんにちはこんにちははいありがとうございます本日大会の進行を務めますコーリーことコーリーもそうですどうぞよろしくお願いいたしますさあ本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日は本日Of course, yeah, there's some rule set changes. Some rule <laughs> Past set changes. few months this time. For this year, right? Well, yeah, you had some rule changes coming、uh, for 2019.、Yep. Obviously, a lot of the players here starting to get adapt,、uh, adapt to it, starting to get used to it. But what's going on? How are you feeling today? Better, man. Went straight to bed after chat. You know, we would have really loved to hang out in Osaka, eat some good food, but、uh, I thought I'd be prepared for today. So, no, yeah, I feel better. Yeah. Same. How about you, man? I, I passed out real quick. So, check this out. This is an important point to talk about, too. Point Matrix.、Uh, this is the way this goes down this year. If you qualify for top 16, you got one point. If you, made, if you tied for ninth,、uh, you got five points. But the big thing is by making this top eight, If you qualified on winner side, you guarantee yourself 25 points here. If you made it on loser side, you're guaranteed at least 10 points.、Uh, as somebody who's paying close attention to this for、uh, my own reasons, if you made top eight at a challenger event like that, you can call that a win. You know, you walk away with double digit points, that's always, that's always good. Also, the sponsors for this event, you gotta remember this event in particular has a $5,000 prize pool bonus.、Uh, thanks to, of course, Yamasa, Yubiwaza, AK Racing, Astro, Astro, always put respect on Astro, man, boosting that prize pool at the end of the year. Pizza Lob, Republic of Gamers, and Kwamba. Chemba, whatever the hell you. Chemba? Kwamba, Kwamba, right? Yeah, Kwamba, 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 Kwamba. I mean, it's what the, the Westerners say. It, if you I, look it, at the, it's a cue to me. the characters, it's like Twamba, I think, if you read the、oh, actual you Chinese. Yeah, you got, you got、yeah. that pronunciation. So check this out. The only difference that we have, I think, from this event compared to the other ones is there's no like, double blind. I'm not sure. Actually, is that an official rule?、Is、Which one? Double no, elimination? Like, you can't call it double blind. You have to pre register your character for the first match. I think that's just this event. I don't think it's. I think it, yeah. But all, all these should be going towards the TWT rules, so that's probably the case. It's just more enforced here, probably. What, yeah, that's what, I, that's what I expected. But I didn't realize that was a rule. Yeah, there's been some surprises here. All right, so this is the breakdown of the rules.、Uh, pre register first character. Yeah, that's. I have to check on that, but I know Japanese tournaments do it all the time, and even some won't let you change your character. Yeah, I mean, it's, not, three, a, it's、so. not a big deal either way. I was just, I was just curious, like, it's different, so I just、uh, kind of、yeah. caught my eye, right? But once again, just breaking down the rules for the people who aren't dialed in. Hopefully, you guys at home,、uh, you got something to drink. I know it's made late for, probably late for some of you guys, but、uh, this should be pretty good. And then you see the prize pool breakdown. First place, second place, third place. First place, you're taking out home what, roughly $2,300. Second place, a little bit over $1,000. Third place, $750. Bucks. Fourth place. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. 400, yeah. yeah, something like that. So, yeah, it's、cool uh, for a, a little a bit, bit more than normal、yeah. challengers. Well, it's, it's Master Cup prize pooling, essentially.、Yeah. Which is,、uh, given the level of comp that this challenger events, I'd say that's、uh, it's hard work. work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. You qualify for top eight, you definitely earned、uh, something. Yeah, a little bit more than points, right? But、uh, once again, the shirt you guys today? In. Yeah. The、uh, JB style design shirts, they always get those out at the JP events. That's why I'm saying,、uh, man, get you. The Osaka version with Asuka. Now、you can see one of the famous locations, it's kind of like the motif to it. Yo,、so. ch change the camera. Go to the stage. There, There you go. go. Nee. Yeah, some knee coming through. Check this out. How did Nee get here? Low high. Winner's side、Chikarine. over Chanel, over Hefelkin, over Shochin. Chanel. Yeah.、Uh, Norama double Super Kuma. They just threw them all up on stage, no order. No, but that's your top eight.、Nope. So, check this out. The cool thing about this top eight actually is.、Uh, Six members of this top eight were 
you know, you, it's, it's funny whenever you look at like uh, like lines like that, you, have, you can always trace it back to the beginning. Beginning of Tekken War Tour 2019, we go to the mix-up in France. Six members of this top eight were in that top eight. The only two that weren't are Kokuma and Double. Cool. Yeah. So, Mr. Quite a few, Stat Man. Yeah, a lot of lot of uh, re, lot of rematch potential here. A lot of runback potential. But just I mean just the way that the tour is going. You know these these guys are. For the most part, these six, I'd say, are quite well-traveled. These are the ones that are really doing right. a lot of globe-trotting, right? So, I mean, they've, they've been playing each other over the past few months anyway, or years even, right? Earlier today, we had a three-on-three that Kettle Cup um, bought yeah, on. Was it? A lot of these guys showed up. Uh, knee was not. Uh, Chikrin got washed out. Um, there was a few surprises that we didn't really see a whole lot of on stream yesterday. For example, Nishin is a very famous Kansai player who plays female characters. Uh, he did quite well with uh, Anna today. Yeah, he qualified uh, top 32 in this tournament. I want to say maybe top 16, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, you're right. I remember seeing his name, he but watched he never... out, watched out before top 8, but uh, he, yeah, he did quite well for himself in the singles event. Good to hear that he did well in the team tournament. I believe uh, Zeo Gal's team actually won. He's on commentary today, though, so you'll see him later on the on the main stage there. Yeah, and once again, Major Obama here with uh, producer Tekken Series, Michael Murray. How you guys doing? Wherever you're watching from, whatever channel you're watching on, we appreciate you guys staying up with us. If you're from watching from North America, South America, out there in Europe, wherever you are, uh, this should be a good one. This top eight. It's what 3 p.m. I mean, so I think you're gonna get a lot of previews of what you're gonna probably see towards the end of the year uh, at, at the finals. You, you have a high likelihood of running into a lot of those matchups uh, in this top eight, but also at, at the finals at the end. Yeah, I think uh, like you said, we have uh, a lot of the top 19 here today, or at least from from yesterday. Yeah, I mean this entire tournament was pretty much dominated. Who's who of the is specifically Asia region, right? Uh, a lot of just the top placers. Everybody who's at the top of ranking boards, man, we can talk about it if you want. Like, uh, the big thing I think when when we were talking about looking at this tournament at the beginning, right, who from Osaka is going to step up? And we've been talking about this for the past, what, 18 months, two years now. Uh, the big thing is the way the Japanese regions have broken down in terms of power balance, you see it right here, right? So check this out. You look at this top eight. you got four Korean players, of course, right. three Japanese, only, and one one random, uh, what? No, well, Bonapartist, I guess, whatever, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> but, European. Yeah, we'll talk about it later, man. <laughs> Coming up first, you got Ni nee going up against Lohai. This is winner's, winner's side, so check this out. Uh, this happened at Combo Breaker, 2-0, Ni's nee favor, right? Lohai, though, man, uh, he's been playing really well this whole weekend. They've, you look at who he had to get over to get, get here. Remember Masa, the Leo player, who was playing really well earlier in pools? Low high over him, low high over you, low high over Olsan. Knee got here over Chanel, over Heppelkin, over Shochin to be able to qualify for top eight at this point. So, so Knee, we didn't see uh, all day this morning, so he must have had some time to rest up, uh, prepare mentally for the tournament today. I remember seeing a lot of Twitter, uh, a lot of the, the well known Japanese players were talking about how tough the, converse, the competition was yesterday and just how much uh, focus was required on each match. And they were complete, completely drained yesterday. It was kind of like a consensus there. Well, to, to be fair, uh, I think what's really separated this challenger event from maybe uh, Taiwan and maybe Thailand is those events were pretty top heavy in terms of just like that, uh, maybe that top 32 was, had high, high density, right? But then if you got outside that, maybe there, it drops off a little bit. This event was 220 plus people, and you know, obviously, average high level here was a average level here was skewed a lot higher than maybe what you're used to seeing for uh, some challenger event like this. So maybe that's that speaks to that, right? Definitely. But coming up first, you know, with Nee, whenever he sits down, man, it always comes down to character selection, state selection. I'm all that's what, that's what I'm excited to see. UIU low high, most likely going with Shaheen, right? Yeah, going up against Rock Dragons, Nee here, and yeah, both of the Rock Dragons boys in this top eight. Two UIU boys in this top eight as well. Let's see, who we got. Cues oh up the no, Steve pick. he's oh, pulling out law. Okay, interesting. Okay. okay, back to back to boo. What do you call? It? Okay, all right. We've seen him uh, pull law out what uh, at least one other time this year so far, if I'm not mistaken. But he was just talking to me about this yesterday. I said, hey man, weren't you the one who tweeted you weren't gonna tweeting that you wouldn't use a Shaheen anymore because you thought he's too weak? And he said, but everyone expects him to. But he'll break out law once in a while. We'll see. Right off the bat. And he willing to shave off some health thanks to these jabs. It's a low out there. Lost ending one, two. No high. Finds an uppercut, no launch though. There we go, run up kicks. Mm. A little bit rusty, low perhaps. Harry, <laughs> good break from Nice. Low high and rage, though. Nice. 
counter hit that's gonna seal it. His his sense for button press patterns in certain when you give him certain your opponent certain stimuli. It's, yeah, especially especially with a character like Steve, right? He can just murder you for that. Huh. And back to the wall, low high now. Overhead blow, Ender. Low high now, rotating around to the left side, right into another counter hit, and here we go. Knee now, looking clean. You think he's regretting his choice now? You have to imagine that has to be in the back of his head, right? He, he goes down three rounds straight here. If he goes to the character, it's like, okay. Magic four here. Magic kick there. Another one. It's a good start here. A little bit more work to do. Yeah, and that's, you know, that's another issue too. That's, that's something that came up with the last time that he played Law in tournament uh, earlier this year, right? He was a little bit sharper on execution than the, la the previous time that he played him in tournament. But again, with the, some of these law, this law stuff, right? The DSS cancels and stuff like that. If you're not actively practicing it. Yeah. Of course, it's low high, right? At this level, can be pretty tricky. Yeah, for sure. Nice. Okay, that's one round. Yeah, just took him with three hits. Two good magic fours, then a launch after that. So now back to this poking battle here, Dragon Hammer. Give her to score some touches off the plus frames. Go off those jabs. We'll just have some pressure there. Oh, I looking for a launch. Run up duck. Nice slow parry. And you gonna be able to take a health advantage here. Just jab pressure. Duck. Mm. While standing one, two, right back at you. Tag you low. Oh, and the down forward two to be able set. to close that. Yeah. Just in case he even thought about stepping. Quick check. Do you think he'll go back to uh, Shaheen? Maybe go to a stage change? I was going to stick with uh, yeah, Law then. Yeah, huh? so he also loses the stage. Well, you have to imagine, maybe he's... You know, maybe he's just he's trying something out here, right? Maybe well, he didn't really get much uh, wall damage, so I don't see why he's uh, changing stages. It's not like that looked like it was a factor in the, the previous match. Mm, perhaps, but the big thing is... You know, Shaheen hasn't been working out for him in this player matchup, right? So maybe he wants to commit the law for this player matchup in particular. Run it out, see how he does. And then at, at worst, you're still in loser's bracket. You still have a chance there. You can always run this basic game plan with Shaheen once again. Go back to him. Dragon Hammer, plus frames. Looking for the jab pressure. Knee with his ducks. Mid range poking more. Be off the jab string. Win the touch of low, gets the throw. The low high just outside of rage too. See if we get a solid hit here. Threatening with slide, low high. All that, th all that threatening just to be able to take that low touch. Oh, great side step on the dragon hammer. Break on the throw. Only 13 seconds left on the clock. Just slowly but steadily, just shaving away at that health bar. There you go. Round two. Fight. Somersault. Good start to the round. That's 50% yeah, right there. 50%. A lot more backwards movement. Trying to beckon me, come to me. Tipping away. Run into some of these pokes in the mid range like that. Knees right in range. Yeah, putting the shoulder down there. No, whip punish. Low high, good response. Gets oh, caught. Wow. Gets checked out of the banana peel kick. Mm. 45%. See me threatening to advance and then just backs off. Looking for, looking for an opening. Yeah, whip punish opening. There you go. Right weave and shoulder once again. It's more just about carrying himself into that space on his terms like that, right? Let's see what he'll do with the rage, though. Dragon Hammer, just going to go low after his pressure. Okay. Seven. Hammer once again for the plus frames. Back dash, and he able to just... Again, mm. he's, he's willing to take those situations like that. You want to build up plus frames, go low. You want to you want to mix after that? Fine, I'll backstep. Please put a button out there. I will take advantage of it. Knee on set point. Hello, Mary. That's the third so far this match. Steve is so good. 
It's not even, it's just him. It's huh. sense. Oh my god. Not looking so hot for him. Yeah, low high and rage though. Got a shot here. Has to be able to maintain control. Break. One more opening will give him. Ah, no, super no, he didn't do it. it. Yeah. So 2 0, and he's gonna be advanced to winner's finals. And that's gonna drop low high. Okay, here we go. So draw, that should drop low high down the loser side. He's gonna play the winner of the Roma versus Super Aguma. Okay, so he still has one chance left then. Yeah, he's here. It's the winner's side. <laughs> so Nobody and everyone was doing this yesterday, right? Er, the Tekken water. Yeah, the next match coming up is going to be Chikorin versus Kokuma. Uh, this is an interesting one in Korea when they played for the at the Rocks and Roll Korea Masters. Uh, Chanel stomping. Uh, he beat him. He beat him pretty bad. You fast forward what a month after that? Fighting Tuesday Dojo event. Kokuma comes. Uh, he was there for that one. Right? Beats That's Chikorin right. twice. Winner side and loser side. He's single-handedly eliminated from the tournament. So this one's kind of wide open. I don't think they played in tournaments since then. Was that Kazumi uh, as well? Yes. So we'll see. Kazumi, likely Kazumi versus versus Key's match. You have to imagine. Here we go. Okay, we'll see if he has something Nange, else. Nange, Koma. Yeah, and again, the interesting point here is, again, uh, what I want you guys at home to focus on, if you, again, con contextualize with a lot of these events, especially the Challenger events, a lot of these... Uh, these medium-sized events like this, not necessarily huge stages, right? You have to contextualize them in the scope of the tour. Uh, like I said, there isn't that much leaderboard shakeup potential with this top eight, right? right? In fact, <clears throat> again, seven of the players in this top eight, you have to remember, are in the top 12 right now. The lowest being Chanel at, uh, what, 365 points or something like that. But the big thing is this. Keep your eyes on Double. Double is the only player in this top eight that can really kind of create a big shakeup on points. Reason why is right now he's sitting on the outside looking in at spot 21. He's 24 points behind Nobi. Now, Double is in this top eight on loser side. He's already guaranteed himself 10 points, right? Right. Let's say he wins this first set against Chanel. Let's just say he does. Okay. He gets himself, guarantees himself 25 points. He goes in over Nobi. Nobi's out at the top 19 at this point. Now, it's very early on, Tekken World, so you can't get too obsessed with, 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 with that kind of leadership. But the thing is, Double puts himself in that conversation. He puts himself in that striking range to be able to try to guarantee, try, try his best to guarantee himself a seat later on this year. Definitely. You know, I saw Nobi early this morning uh, at the tournament. He didn't look so hot, so I think it's a combination of uh, not feeling too well, but also just so disappointed in the results from yesterday. Being knocked out already. Was he in ninth place or something like that? Oh uh, yeah, just outside top eight. I want no. I want to say he lost in pools. Yeah, because you and Take made it. You and Take made it to top 32. Nobi right. lost in pools. Like he, yeah, he was he made it to Pool's winner finals match, lost the winner's final match, then lost the loser's final match right after. You and Take, <laughs> you and Take made it to what? Uh, top 16, if I remember correctly. Then they had to play each other. But here we go, Chikorin going up against Kokuma. Nice to see that the uh, chat's civil today. And that's the thing. Both of these characters, right, they have both have explosive damage potential at the wall. It's about who can take control of it first. And in order to establish that, it's this mid-range battle, this mid-range poke-heavy game that's going to be played here. Both of these players, they are really compact. It's a lot of, man, it's so many little, little factors, right, and just razor-thin margins. Shikorin able to draw first, first blood. Up. Yeah. <laughs> gonna put Pokemon's back to the wall. Uh, fishing with the end. Oh, he jumps the throw. Good sidestep. Yeah. And and good mash on the ground. Yeah, able to peel her off the sidewall there. And one meter to boot. Good spacing. Nice. Chop that's, away. A, that's an awesome return on a whip key in like that. At that range, too. Solid. Hmm. Keep going to the wall. Yeah, and both of these characters, man. Great carry. Goes low. Working that down for one. You know that Chickering wants to step over to the right side, right? That down for one is a good, good, you know, passive tracking option to be able to catch that side. 
So especially in a lot of these close range battles like this, it comes down to not just jab, it's the jab yomi, reactions, movement, all those little factors that get, get play into this poke heavy close range war like this. Trying to seal the step, Pokemon sees the low. Gonna take Chikum into the wall for it. Out comes the Tiger. Kick him while he's down. Just he's out of fly. That time goes with the mid option, and then here comes Chikorin. Willing to burn the bar here. Not quite to the wall, runs up, gets his low. Not quite to the wall. Yeah, gonna get the sidewall though. Oh, but yeah. Try to dip down and grab her. One plus two throw, there it is. Gets the side switch, and then great positioning too. This is so good. Pokemon, you gotta imagine looking to try to weave out around to the left side, but the thing is, no gonna wear from Koma, though. Oh, what's gonna happen oh, here? My. Oh, he went for that one. I thought he was gonna go for the, the multiple hit one. Deadly Rape Neo? No, he went for Rock One. <laughs> Grab low. That time goes mid. Keep it safe, not willing to gamble. Nice hop to Pokemon. Threatening mm. go, go up a game here on Chikorin. Winner's side. <laughs> Two. Nice man, these Michigan characters when they get that one one two. It's not even just about the damage, it's about the knockdown. It breaks the momentum, it breaks the pace like that. Chick went in rage, only one bar to give too. You have to imagine, yeah, looking to even spend that here. No, not even gonna come up. Lost any four fours. First set goes to Kokoma. Block and punish. Yes, uh Chikorin is Japanese. Yeah, Japan versus Korea, in particular Kyushu versus uh, Korea. We'll talk about that in a minute too. Koko has been playing really well all weekend too, man. You got to yeah, over UU, over over double, over Super Akuma. He put Super Akuma in losers. In fact, yeah, actually this losers bracket, Koko did double damage. He actually put uh, what, half the loser bracket in the losers. Chikorin over I Musician, over Saint, over Rangchu. Now Kokuma threatening to drop him in the loser bracket too. Now Kokuma's been pretty tight this time. Very solid defense on his part. Yeah, as, as usual, right? The movement, defense. Very just basic tech. See what happened while standing one from Easy. We need to just take those low pokes, those low kicks. Pokemon now. Neither player really showing any kind of opening yeah. here. You have clockwise rotation right now. Both players stepping left on each other. Chikorin remember to try to throw out the red poke in for the gauge. Most of Chikorin's damage this round has just come from those lows. <laughs> oh, trying to play right on her. <laughs> Yeah, it's compact close range war, man. It's so fun to watch. Mid ender. Still no things. 15 oh, seconds on the clock. Right under that leg, and oh, here we go. Put the knee on her, burn the meter, max mode activation, wall pressure. Plan the rice to finish here, okay. Checking with a strong response around. That's how, that's how it is. They play that close range compact game. It's tough, it's tough, man. Like, such small attention to detail, right? And then just like that, they can both just explode on each other. That only took a bar. <laughs> both go low. No one's parrying. Knock down from one, one, two, three. Get that shoulder on it, then check it with the down four, one. Chikorin, though, slowing the pace of the match down and slowly turning the tide in his favor. Back catch here. Good meet on these jab strings. Lost any forward return. Good punish. Yeah, off the crotch jab, too. Run it again. Drop that shoulder on her. Chikorin's got the momentum here. Fishing with the end. Rolling thunder from Pokemon. There we go. Vincent gone. Oh, nice punish. Good use of the meter. Mm. Uh, then a simple mid check afterwards. Man, first game all Kokomo. Second game, Chikram able to just slow again, slow down the pace, and then find those big moments where he can just take advantage and then just explode. And all three rounds went, went just like that. First ten seconds is just about each other, feeling each other out in that in that in that what that's range zero, right? 
I really enjoy this kind of high level Tekken. I mean, sometimes you'll get two characters that just poke each other to death for the whole round, but this, at least, you know, in the initial phases, their defense is really high, but then they get that one opening and they just go crazy, and it's kind of an entertaining uh, match. It, to feels watch. Like, it feels like it's still part of that, like, feeling each other out phase, right? right? We're going into game three, but it still, it still feels like uh, so much of the way the match has been played like that. Still just kind of like, okay, how, lots of small looks you'll give the other person, see how they're dealing with it. Uh oh, don't look. Coco don't read the notes. chat. Come on, they're just notes. saying you're gay anyway, so don't worry about it. Nah, he ain't reading the Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> they're not sick of you that. Should, you uh, shouldn't topic be either. Yet. You shouldn't be either. I'm addicted. The mission online ends here. So let's see. It's kind of cool. Kyofu Sashi, Oshete Sashi Agimasu is pretty much the same line as Devil Jr. saying. Just in uh, polite. The crowd chat, Kokomo willing to just be paid to carry. Nice. Harry off the down back three. Single rep ender, hold his wall pressure. Plant those seeds by now, chicken up 50%. Rolling thunder, then just chopping away at that tree, right? Those down for one pressure. Break on the one plus two grab, chicken. Seize it. Nice. Big four counter hit. Uh, Max jab carry. That carry, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> and, the, and the big thing is bottom left corner of your screen, right? Build that bar. Here we go. Kind of hit four though from Coco. This could be it. Off the wall. That is it. Round two. He's dialed in, man. He looks razor focused right now. Game three series versus Chikorin. You're going up against Japan. You could say it, man. No controversy. This is Japan's most consistent player right now. Back three confirmed. Mm. Burn the bar, max mode. <laughs> Rep who can end their old man. Down to 40%. Minus 50%, just like that. Oh, just the ender hits. Goes me. Off the try. Chicken now out of there. Still got a bar to give. Got to imagine looking to be able to try to conserve the meter. No, he burns it right away. I want, I want this round. Now the big thing is, can Kokuma somehow take control of the wall from him? This would be a big win if he's able to take this round back. He's still ahead on life, though. Yeah. Oh! oh watch the guy punch him in the back of the head! Oh! No! Fish for the crowd uh, jabbing! No Kokuma. punish! That's a big win. He got Shikarin to spend the only bar he had, and he still lost the round. That was a big win going into this game three. Huge mistake, though, from Shikarin there. Set point two for Kokuma. Ben Rice, Magic, Magic four. 4. and let's go to... I'm gonna take you there. I'm gonna bleed you, oh man, 50%. Neutral jump. <laughs> this is a 3D game, son. That happens sometimes. Chickering in rage, though. See how much damage he can do? Only one bar. Yeah, Coco, I'm not trying to give it away either. <laughs> with the risk. Chad's gonna love that one. Still one. Chickering in rage with one bar to give. Willing to burn it right away. Put her at the wall. Rep Ender. Hold this pressure. All right. Oh, just out of range of the crouch there. One more poke to do it. Oh, the there we go. Oh, no. oh my god. That was close, man. Here we go. <laughs> Chikorin able to sniff out that backwards movement from Kokomo. No part, no part either for Chikorin. He's got to do his eyes. Keep doing those rip poke ends, man. <laughs> And Kokuma not trying to overextend either, right? Simple just jab pressure, mixing up with the lows. Huge poking match here. Tit for tat, and the crab jab mm. confirmed from Chikrin. Wall bounce. The end Shibuken, rep yeah. in. Yeah. No. Pretty badass combo. Yeah. Nice. He wasn't confident the double rep ender would have killed there. It's only five, it's only like five more damage out, outside of rage, right? The best geese in Japan. Kept it six. Best geese in Japan, man. They said this is the best geese in the world. Gotta watch the language around here. <laughs> I think so. Low check. Some people say Arsene, though. Magic four from Chikorin. Baby, baby, gonna put Kokuma back in the wall. Uh. He's on fire. Some NBA jam. Uh -oh. I love that game. <laughs> oh. Back it up. Both characters in rage. Poking to death. Oh! And Kokomo, oh my god! He's gonna lose his hair. So check this out, that cues up me versus Kokomo on winner's side. Winner's finals, you're gonna get, yeah, that's that. And that drops Chikorin now 
to play the winner of double versus Chanel. Ooh, man, that was <laughs> pretty tight, man. Yeah, that's a close set. I thought she couldn't have that. And it's just what we said, right? They've, they've traded on uh, tournament matches so far this year on TWT. Uh, that's kind of set that I, I expected for sure. But coming up next, we're going to shift down to loser side of the bracket. Who we get double at? versus Chanel. Okay, that'll be a good match. Yeah, check this out. Look at how double got here, man. Over Nishin, over Hakayo, over Taurus Cutter, over Olsan. Lost to Kokomo. Kokomo put in there. Chanel lost a knee, won the two. They had to play in. That, again, we talked about that earlier, man. Right. This, that's kind of the tournament this is. Knee and Chanel have to play each other in, like, what, top 32 winner side first yeah. match or something like that? Crazy. But Chanel got here over Book, over Naroma, over Tai Heyo. And that's how he was able to get here to loser side. Man, top all eight. these top players that you got to beat to get where you are now. Yeah. Here's the bracket. We got Knee, Kokoma on the winner side. Yeah, just what I just said, right? Cue up that first Chanel of three set. Naroma, Super Akuma. That's right. We still got a European in the bracket Yeah, and that's, that's going to be a rematch too, right? They've not only played in tournaments so far this year, but they also had those Kuro Kuro first to ten sets just last week, right? Did you watch them? Did you get a chance to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, was there a set in particular that you liked? Or what? The Naroma and Nobi sets to me were the, were the probably the most exciting, I'd say. Those were really close, uh, really fun to watch. Also, you guys, and I'm, I, I keep saying this, you guys gotta understand, out here, people don't do that crowdfunding stuff. Uh, it's a big kind of a risk to, to kind of do something like that. Make sure you guys get on Twitter, man. Simple English, get on Twitter, at Kuro Kuro. Thank you for setting that stuff up, man. Whether it's it was the knee exhibitions, whether it was the Arsenal Nash exhibitions, he's done them with uh, Mr. Nabs before, but the Super Kuman ones this time, they're always fun to watch, being able to watch sets like that. Especially with Tekken World Tour, you don't really get too many opportunities to be able to watch those long sets, long exhibitions like that as much anymore as compared to maybe years past, right? Definitely. So it's a nice like a kind of change of pace, I think. Uh, nice compliment, I guess we could say, to a lot of the events that we see going on in Tekken World Tour for sure. Maybe we'll see some uh, teams come out to Japan for Master Cup. That would be nice. Uh, have a few first to tens. I mean, I don't think you have to worry about that with the, with, uh, the way Strong Style is looking. I think it, every, the interest is very high in those, those team events like that right now. Uh, you have to imagine it's on a lot of people's calendars. What I'm saying is, man, Stop getting on Twitter and subtweeting people, get, hollering at Michael Murray, hollering at Harada for uh, asking for all kind of crazy shit. Why don't y'all get on Twitter and do something constructive, man? Thank the people that are helping make this, this kind of stuff happen. Get out there and just simple thank you. Well, I didn't say that. <laughs> I said it. I, 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 I'll, I'll put my name on that. Nah, it's good. I mean, it's what I've always been saying about the community, and I really feel that the Tekken community has gotten really good since 7 came out. You know, before people were talking all kinds of shit in the chat or on forums or whatever, and they don't, they didn't realize that newcomers to the game, they see that and they say, okay, well, I'm just going to take a step back. Everyone's been very, uh, well, a lot more welcoming than they were in the past, and I think uh, the Tekken community is one of the more uh, friendly ones at the moment. I mean... Not necessarily chat, but uh, I think uh, the game and the community has grown uh, exponentially this year. Coming up next, yeah. BYU double going up against Rocks, Dragon, Chanel. This is a loser side top eight match. First to two, and they haven't played in tournament in a, for a while, I think. Friendly was a uh, new bad choice of word. Welcoming. Okay. Welcoming a new player. Yes, two up the Elisa versus Law matchup. On precipice of fate. So check this out. And this is the thing, man. We talked about the, the Japanese players that qualified for top eight at this tournament, right? Double is uh, kind of the outsider here. Not just in terms of points, but also in terms of region, right? He's the only Tokyo-based player that made top eight here. And the big thing is, he's probably in Japan has highest rising stock, I would say, this year, right? Chanel? Yeah, no, double. Double. Uh, double. double for sure. Chanel, stock always high, right? Chanel, I, Chanel's only thing is he's still looking for the big win is the thing, right? How many times does he get really deep into these tournaments, get really deep into the top eight, but can't get the big win? Can't go over a knee, a JDCR, or a Saint. Well, Chainsaw, yeah, when your teammate is knee. <laughs> yeah, that's just how it is. Go. Double now working the lows, get the wall flat, right into the super. Double quickly able to take control of that round away. Wow. That's his thing, man. Reactions. Movement, he plays fast. He likes to be in this compact zone like this. Big launch up the down board too. And once again, Chanel back to the wall. Dragon Cannon Ender. He's partying hard yeah, here. Yeah, trying to put the palm out there on Oki. But the simple jab strings and then just working in the lows. That's what, that's what really paid dividends for him. This, uh, two rounds really fast. I think it's a good strategy not to give Chanel's Elisa that much room to, to work with. Yeah, he's smothering you, right? Yeah, we talked about that yesterday, right? You give Chanel an open stage like this, he'll just run all over you. 
but if you, smother him, if you smother him, you you know play at a pace that's faster than what he's used to. Smother him, not give those opportunities to be able to try to create those whip punish situations, not to be able to try to play the game at his pace. And Double's been doing that. Counter hit four once again at the wall. Mm. Minus 50%. The palm on it. But Chanel with a good, man, very subtle left step there. It's good turn around. The use of the walls is pretty good. Side wall, then goes low on Oki. Thing is for Double. Wow. Good read. This Locked could end it. Launch. I think it will, right? Rage arts. Yeah. Great step of confidence. Good set from Double. And the thing was, man, two of those rounds, right? Chanel, it felt like he had control most of those rounds, but then Double just one or two high impact decisions. With Law, man, it's not even that hard, dude, with a wall. You know, you get, you get access to Rage, rage Arter, Rage Drive, right? 60% easy. Well, you know, Double. Especially when you open up the round minus 60% on them, right? Like that, right? I've seen a lot of people put Law pretty high on their tier list as well. Well, I mean, that was the talk of the town for season two, right? He's one of those characters. Law, Miguel, uh, there's a couple other characters you can put in that conversation. We were, hey, Hachi, right? We're talking about how good they are, how right. strong they are this season. Double's but you one of the ones who showcases Yeah, them. you haven't seen that many people showcase some of those characters' talents, right? Not to, not to say that there aren't some players who are doing so, but it's just kind of surprising how mm. few. Another good opening for Double here on the Infinite Stage. And this is what you gotta worry about against Chanel, right? You go to this kind of stage where he can just move. You still gotta find a way to smother him. You still gotta find a way to outplay him, but keep it smart. Double sometimes, he can kinda get ahead of himself. But you have to imagine after the June performances he had, right? Won the OGN Esports exhibition in Korea, then went to tai Taiwan, was able to win there over Chikorin. Did a lot for his confidence. We were just kind of standing back a bit now. I would have thought he would have been up in Shell, Chanel's face. Well, he doesn't want to overextend. Yeah, you yeah. got to watch out for the He just wants step. to safely advance. Use a lot of jab pressure here. Hasn't even shown that many lows, right? That's really one of the first ones. Ten seconds to go. Yeah, threaten the slide. He's got a health advantage. Banana peel kick. Block and punish. Almost even. Oh, side and low. Off the drive. Oh, he tried to Chanel swing, steals it from him. Chanel was just jab ring. Jab ring. Low parry at the start. My oh, man can see the frames. Run up, take your load. Blocking the chainsaws, turn fire, dragon hammer. Down for one somersault, once again, dragon uppercut. That's gonna be enough to take this round. <laughs> he he's looks dialed, happy. He's dialed in, man. <laughs> That's the thing, it's, it, it's, it's almost like a, a new double. From June to July, it was it's all it took. You get a big win like that? He's feeling confident. Especially you win, win $10,000 over knee, over low high, over Coco Man a tournament like that? Yeah, do a lot for your confidence. In Korea, Threatening the slide, yeah, yeah. Threatening the slide, finds the low. Rotating around to the left side like that. Now, quick left step, stepping low. Oh. Good pressure from Chanel. Nice. Did we get the DSS follow up there. Slide. Oh, finds the low again. No quick punish. Down to the wire. Only 10 Dude, seconds I don't know left. who has help me. I don't know who has. Ah. Oh, and double gets it. <laughs> double on set like, point for right. Chanel. Yep. And the whip punish. Chanel thought he was gonna step. No. He wants it, man. Double just went backwards. Run up, kick, full parry, just like that. The beat down, man. Yo, he can see the frames right now. He's on his way to Chanel, a you in trouble. Not quite. Oh, she can bomb hands. Let's go. <laughs> Chanel trying to run in. Takes a jab. Takes a low. Double not gonna take much more, though. 30 seconds, time expires. Standing back. Gonna run the clock out a little bit. Speed start. The thing is, double do not overextend. Off the drive. Chanel finally gives it up. Oh, good choice from Chanel. Yeah. I honestly thought double had it there. It's tough. You gotta play full set. Chainsaw pressure. Quick slide in from double. One and then, yes. Chanel trying to seal his step in that close range battle. Yeah, double willing to just back it up too. Chanel hasn't really activated a lot of that 
you know that that movement that we're used to seeing from him, right? It's, it's kind of on him. Pressure's on him. They kind of have to advance. Is that oh, that was, that he usually does, very yeah. soft axe that would have worked out. Junkyard, all right. Mm. The launch. At this point, any launch will do it for double. Just don't give it away. Chanel See, top away. Cut step a lot more. Chainsaws, though. Here we go. Yeah, and then it. cuts up his ankle. Chanel able to take control of the match. Just like that. 1-1. One, one. So we're one set uh, each for double and Chanel. One game each in the set. Yeah, going into game three. And this is the second match of the day. Uh, Kokoma being victorious over... Third Who match, yeah. Who did Kokoma beat earlier? <laughs> Koko... Kokoma beat Chikorin. Ah, Chikorin so now it's, right. it's me versus Kokoma in winner's finals. Yeah, Waiting. some people just joined us now, so. Right now, game three here, double, going up against Chanel. It was a long weekend. And the big thing is, the winner of this match goes up against Chikorin. Oh, that's right. Yeah. This time, closer quarters. Round one. Fight. Gotta imagine, double looking to take advantage of this close quarters. Trying to take control of the wall. Chanel, though. Clean step around. If you want to slide like that, fine. You're going to pay for it. Just like that. Not, not even any real big touches like that, but Double's already down 50% health. Getting close to Trying to shave off that health with the down back three. Finds it. Another uppercut. Trying to take Chanel all the way to the wall. Just short of it. Gave up a little bit of damage to do that, too. Oh, shut down the drive. No race drive. Low parry. Uh. Oh. Been on fire with those yeah. low parries today. Very strong reads on Okazemi. Let's get the low kick though. Wasn't prepared to do anything after. Accidental hits that sometimes hard. To, it's hard to see. Smell looking for an opening. Safe. Dragon hammer for the plus range. Run it again. Good side set. Yeah, Chanel ready for the stack that time. That's something double will do sometimes, right? If he knows that you want to commit the guard, he's like, fine, I'll take my frame advantage every time. But he can get a little over, a little bit overzealous with it. Get sidestep, right? Yeah, quick step like that and look at the difference. Double now in trouble. Oh, yeah. good blast. Yeah, good. Good on Chanel to stay down like that too. He knew that he knew that double was looking for someone to do something there. Banana peel kick. Chanel looking for some damage here. He's running banana peel kick. He's going back to it. Dragon Killer, and backs up. Step in lows now. Double playing really compact. Let's get the cut no launch. Mm. Get just down for a one pressure, then finally finds a low. Slide, block on the chainsaws, keep the guard. Down back three, looking for his launch, doesn't get it. Chanel just out of range. Slow parry on the slide. At the wall, Dragon Cannon. Uh. Not quite enough. Down <laughs> four, one to be able to check him after. And yo, double once again on that's point for double. And this is big. Okay, launch from Chanel now. Uh. Peller hands and check him after. Off the sidewall. A lot of damage real early on here. Quick round. Key charge. Oh, charge up. Oh, gets a float. You want to stay down? Fine, I'll touch you. Starting with side, goes in. Oh. Damn, good strategy. Double two there. one over Chanel. Finds the me. Oh my god. Chanel out of this tournament now. That's going to queue up Dump. Check so this we'll see out. him go against Chikorin. Next now. match, double versus Chikorin. This is a rematch of your uh, challenger event from a few, a few weeks ago in Taiwan. So you think we'll see grand you get a grand finals rematch of, a, of another challenger event in this challenge, in loser side. But that's going to queue up the next match, and this is the other one, right? Naroma going up against Super Akuma. Uh, like we were talking about before, right? Uh, looking at this tournament when we started, a, like yesterday, right. we were saying, you know, this is Osaka. This was the house for, you know, Tekken 5, 5 VR, 6, 6 VR. This West Coast Japan area was so strong during the time. You you talked to a lot of the, the players uh, around Japan, and they talked about this region specifically. Uh, this was the house. Those Osaka players, a lot of the older gen, they stopped playing. Uh, right. they, they didn't really invest so much into grooming the younger generation like that. Whereas you had the players in Kyushu do so. 
right? Chikorin here with Naroma down there. Naroma and Chikorin have emerged as probably Japan's most consistent players. And the big thing is, if you look at this bracket, you zoom out to the top 16, you see Chitty Chitty in there, you see Gen in there. They were very close to making this top eight as well. The thing is, the power of a community taking ownership of itself, taking ownership of its young players, taking ownership of just its scene like that. You see the power of that. Kyushu, the rise of Kyushu. We talked about that all year long in Japan. And you're seeing it come to fruition here. Naroma going up against Super Akuma from France. Man, and uh, this other guy too, right? Drew first blood on Tekken World Tour 2019. This other Super guy Kuma, who yeah. to This Super other guy Kuma. being, no, <laughs> being, being Super Kuma, right? Won the mix up in France. First Tekken World Tour uh, Masters event this year, right? In surprise, in, in the most dramatic fashion possible, too, right? And so See if he'll be using that Oblivion he won earlier in the uh, three on three tournament, no? Yeah, so the thing is, these two, <laughs> have, these two played in Poland as well. Naroma was able to take it over him there, but last weekend in, with the Kuro Kuro sets, they played a first to 10. Naroma, 10 games, Super Kuma, 8. And Super Kuma did really close. He did really it was It was a really good set. I think uh, no Super Kuma versus Nobi and Super Kuma versus. Super uh, versus Naroma. Those were the best sets from this past weekend. If you guys haven't seen them yet, go check them out on, Kur on uh, Kuro Kuro's Twitch. They were really fun to watch. Naroma choosing to go with Jack. He has a few characters he can use, but this is his main, it seems. But this is the, the same character matchup that he played the first attempt with. Robot uppercut all the way to the wall. Jack's down forward two is cheating, man. There's no way that she should <laughs> hit that far. Back go jab to the carry. Wall. Run up tackle, take my punches, get. And yes, that's what you want to look for. The Romo did a really good job in that first 10 of finding float opportunities. He really limited Super Kuma's return on demon flip setups like that as much Those as possible. long arms, man. Yeah. Nice DX DP mm. Ender. Super Kuma willing to burn the bar. He charged, put the fireballs out there. Forcing the Romo to step. Nice. He dives into the fireball. He's trying to dive under, I think the, yeah, the latter part to, of yeah, it. Yeah, low profile through. under it. Just a little bit too early, right? So here we go, Jack Hammer testing him. Super Kuma showing a lot of right step. Max range, and that's going to be another big point, too. Naroma did a really good job of limiting Super Kuma. You know, it, it's, it's really hard to kind of completely seal it, but you have to look for big moments where it's, it's Yomi, really. It's just player Yomi. When Super Kuma wants to Abari with that crouch jab, because Super because of Kuma, this character can get so much good, good return off of it, right? Right. Especially in high impact situations when he has access to the gauge. Naroma did a really good job of finding low parries in some of those situations, limiting its influence as much as possible. It's really hard to get oh, close on Jack, at the wall, Naroma. He's like, shit. <laughs> Super, that's the funny. Yeah, the cool thing about Super Kuma, he always looks stressed. When he's winning, <laughs> looking stressed. Losing, looking stressed. Here we go, good flow from Naroma. Well, he's Super out of France, he's wall. away. In Lower Japan. down shoulder. Pretty stressful, I would think. Okay. Thank God for Sentinel, thank God for Machine. They had to ban this brother from the league. What, what kind of juice is he on, man? He got green stuff blowing out his arm. Good punish. Naroma activating his guard, right? Looking for the uppercut just a little bit late. Really solid defense from Super Akuma here, though. Really aggressive, but Naroma not, not breaking. Nice, nice step, side step. And all, so of that off of just, all of that off of a, uh, just a very acute side uh, step uh, with Naroma's timing. He put out the jackhammer. Big return. Uh oh. Stand back, throw some fireballs, maybe. Five seconds left. Oh, Run shit. I told you, man. <laughs> That's something if you ask. Oh, right off the bat, uppercut to the wall. You know how this goes. Let me see you lower that shoulder. Oh, trying to Could find the low, but yeah, Super Kuma just ready with the demon flip. Uh. Okay. Stab pressure from Max Reigns like that. Jackhammer. Oh! For the crowning hit? No, you want to keep charge? Fine, decision. run up, tag him. The Roma up one game here on loser side. He's got that pained artist look. And you have to imagine for Naroma, he was he was looking for that key charge at, at the end like that, right? Super Kuma had access to his gauge like that. He knew that in that that's kind of situation. That's what he was doing, Yeah, right? when he yeah. was down like that. That's, that's just a result of that first attempt. That's a result of that matchup experience. He knew to look for that in that situation specifically. They talked about, you know, Super Kuma. They said his execution, awesome. Really good combo decision making. Really good combo optimization, right? Solid reactions. They've had the opportunity to be able to play with him. 
Understand? Look for a lot of those, uh, what he wants to do in those Yomi situations. Really good up bar A2 is what they mentioned. Mentioned earlier with the crouch dad. Working the lows, Naroma. DG right Naroma, there. Though, keeping him close to the wall. Yeah. Hasn't gotten the biggest return out of it, but it's still like it's positional advantage and it's just it's a certain kind of mental pressure. Nice jackhammer. Naroma trying to back up. Off the Tatsu, Tatsu oh. for it. So parry once again. To the wall. Put him back to the wall. Jackhammer. He's trying to rotate around to the left side. Ten Puma looking for left. the sweep. Oh, no, he oh. went for it. No Roma. Block and return fire. Super Kuma fighting to stay in here. Scores the low. Spring kicks and the launch. Man, oh man. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, testing with focus attack there. Naroma finally eats a jump in there. He hasn't eaten too many this set. That's probably that's one of the first ones. He's gotta go low, son. And look at and look at that. Naroma complete confidence in his guard. He says, okay, you got all that meter. Or if you're willing to burn all that meter on pressure like that, I'm gonna guard the entire time and make you waste it. And just like that, Super Kuma going into a potential last round here, elimination point. No, no meter. 25% built up. Just not gonna duck. Finally gets access to some at the end of this combo. Wow, all the way across the street, the stage. Jumping in. Hops him at the wall. The Roma though. This could be the it. slide. Gonna put him at the wall. Super Kuma in rage. Here uh, we go, Tombstone. Yeah. And the Roma, quick 2-0. Hard adjust after that first attempt last week. Naroma gonna be moving on. Gonna face low high. Oh man, that's another classic. Another matchup that you've seen quite a bit uh, over the past two or three years, actually. You know, now that I think about it. Who's that? No, so low high versus Naroma. So loser okay. side, we're gonna bounce back. It's gonna be double versus Chikorin. And then on the other side, you have of losers, you have low high versus Naroma. Winners finals, knee versus Kokoma. That's your uh, top six right here. So, so far, Chanel, Chanel takes Knee 10 points. Kokomo, you said, right? Mm. Chanel takes 10 points from this event. Super Kuma takes 10 points as well for a challenger event. Not bad. Uh, but so far, like I said earlier, guys, remember, Double is the kind of the man to watch. He's the one that kind of controls his own destiny right here at this at this point. Okay. Uh, with every win, he climbs higher and higher up the leaderboard. He can go as, far, as high, I think, as up to the sixth place if, if he were to win, let's say. Well, it's really hot or cold, so, I mean, today it seems like he's really on fire. Yeah, he's, but, uh, it's we'll his fo see. focus and, again, reactions. Yeah, speed. Dude, I mean, he was just playing, like, very aggressive speed. You saw he had all the Okazeme Yomi every time. How many low players did he have that one set? Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Smackdown on Chanel. We're coming yeah. in next. Yeah, we're going to bounce back. Chikorin versus Double. And this is a rematch. What we saw in Taiwan. I'm going to tell you what, Mr. Murray. Check this out. What's up, man? So, Double, I want to say two months ago, Double and Chikorin were in a first to ten on, uh, I think it was Tet Pro TV, actually. Yeah, I think you're right, yeah. Yeah, they were in a first to ten. And, man, I'm, I'm telling you, it was looking like Smash Brothers on Twitter this past week. Because <laughs> the, the old man, Chikorin, I mean, he, he put hands on double. He put hands on the young blood <laughs> like that. And it, and it very inappropriate. I'll put it that way. And after that set, you know, double talked about it. He's like, man, I'm just, he said, I'm not good enough. But I'm going to watch this. I'm going to learn from him. I'm really glad, glad I got I to do I saw this, that. Right? I know what you're talking yeah. about. So then we go to Taiwan and check this out. Get, you got to remember, at this point, he, he didn't have the win yet, right? He had that win in Korea. He got, what? $12,000 for it, had to go over Kokum, I had to go over Loha, had to go over Knee in order to get that win. They didn't publicize it until like last week, but the big thing was he goes into Taiwan, Chikor, he's on winner's, winner's side in Grand okay. Finals, but Chikorin, the old man from the South, is still in the tournament, meets him in Grand Finals, the fastest 3-0 I've ever seen. It was just like, it was instant. <laughs> Double just like, might as well, if unplug the stick. He might as well be playing on hitbox. But you know. But the thing was, at that point, that's the point where up until up until now, we might have expected Double to fall to mental pressure, right? That's something that he talked about. He said, I'm, I feel that pressure, and sometimes maybe I've been classified weak as that. He said that in an interview before. But the big thing was, he was able to slow the, the pace of the match down, and in the, after the reset, 
it was it went full set if I remember correctly, but he was able to beat Chikorin. And that's Japan's most consistent player. You get that big win finally on your resume like that, especially over Japan's most dominant player right now. Dominant, it's maybe, yes, first, but I don't know number. about uh, consistent. And these guys have played a lot more than that even because, uh, you know, when I was picking up geese. No, nah, dude, there's no... No, 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 I went to Chikorin's stream all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what those dudes played for hours on and he's played them way more outside of uh, those televised matches than he has. For sure, you know. yeah, for sure. What I'm saying is, this is no contest. This is no con not a controversial statement at all. Chikorin and Naroma are the most consistent Japanese players right now. No, that's like no debate. Really? Yeah. He got pretty washed out in the team battles. He, the, again, consistency morning. means not exceptions. Focus on the, the trend. These are the most consistent players. And that's, that's not even going, going this year. That's, that's as far back as that's last year, too, right? Included, right? What about the Chikorin Cup? Chikorin Cup? Well, he's doing TO duties and stuff there, man. That doesn't count. But the thing is, again. He's playing, though, right? Yeah, he played. He got the got <laughs> ninth <laughs> place at the right, dojo. Whatever, man. Okay. Yeah, try, I mean, hey, I'm telling you. It's focus on trends, not exceptions. That's my thing. If you look at, I mean, sure, look at the global leaderboard. The numbers don't lie. But anyway, coming up next, we're going to run this double versus Chikorin set. So this is going to be a rematch of what we saw in Taiwan, what, uh, I want to say four weeks ago, five weeks ago? Uh, yeah, let's see. At this point, got to imagine double playing like a new man. Everybody's been talking about it, right? Uh, he gets two really big wins in June, in July. Obviously, disappointing finish for him. He missed top eight at CEO, but still ninth place at a Masters event like that with over 400 people like that. Still put some points on his resume. Climbing the leaderboard like that. Got to imagine a win here would look really good, man. Again, sl slowly but steadily climbing that leaderboard like that. What? No, no, no. No, no, man. Express yourself. You're good. This is your, good. This is your stream. I'm enjoying this, chat. This is your party. No, no, no. I'm, I'm enjoying chat. Okay. Think, people think I'm bullying you. I'm just having fun, man. That's why people like watching our stream. Hey, no bully. <laughs> this isn't a YouTube comment section, man. You can't bully me here. I'm not a bully. I don't. I don't. Let's go. Geese first loss. So the big thing is... Double has this kind of tendency to maybe take some big risks or get, get, he gets antsy too, right? But when he plays solid, when he plays to his pace like that on his terms, and if he's able to, again, limit Chikorin's ability to be able to spend that meter on damage, force him to be able to burn it on pressure, he has to be looking for the back three, be able to try to punish it or at least try to get away from the follow-up, right? Limit the influence of the meter in the match as much as possible. Take advantage of the walls on hero terms. Counter hit four, all the way to the wall, breaking the glass. So not yet. One, one, two. Keep going to tag him for it. The mix plant up there. Rice. Yeah, runs up in his grill. Down four, one pressure. We're going to plant the rice. Then back on out. Up the clusters. Oh, oh, man. No meter. Runs up. Let me take the low touch. Double now in rage. Chickering now in rage. One beater. Be He's gonna willing to burn it on pressure. And just like I said, double willing to just chill. I'll He's block slightly it slightly ahead on life. Now, so the big thing choice. is if double takes this round, that's a huge win. That's a big win. Hmm. You gotta okay. take it round by round. Don't win the set all, all together. Uh, I couldn't hold on. Lost anyone, he's able to finish it out there. Push for a counter hit here. Going this range, banana peel kick. That was something that he did a lot in Taiwan. You saw him pull out the banana peel kick a lot. Get, yeah, score counter hits with it as well. The wall in the mid range. Less down back three, more, more banana peel kick. Huge life at the moment. Dragon hammer counter hit. Uh. Double right now. Okay. Still kind of feeling each other out, right? It's just been so quick to capitalize on the openings he sees. He's playing really well today. He's moving. You see a lot more backwards movement. Micro step left. Once again, I see when you want to press. Counter hit four. On the chick. Takes a low tap after. Then just back out. One bar and a half for Chikorin. Go to the wall. Yeah, he's been li very liberal with meter uses too. He's gonna build what, close to two after this series. Needs to take the round when he can. There you go. Willing to burn it on pressure this time. Finds the hit. And the low touch. Legend kick now. Good duck. Yeah, great duck. And then comes up with the wasp and he wants to burn. Ooh. Low touch from double. Yeah. See, yeah. You see him now? Just what I said, looking for a lot more banana peel kick. That time, Chikorin goes low with the mix up. At the wall. Finish it. Stand, Stand up. up. Die. Very strong first game from Chikorin.
Man, Japanese guys are cool. It's like, you see the Master Cup footage, I think because they're on team, they're like, yeah! You, you see them one-on-one, -on -one, they're just like, you know, like they're in the library or something. <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, people have been talking about that for years. Uh, there's, it's a different kind of energy in a team tournament like that, right? Uh, you're not just playing for yourself. You're playing for for other people. You have to think about it that way, right? If it's just me, you know, like, man, I'm trash. I know I'm bad. But, like, the thing is, if you sign up with a, with four other people, they're looking at you. They're depending on you. It's a different kind of energy. It's a different kind I of pressure. I think they grow up that way, too. It's, like, less emphasis on the individual, more on the group, you know? Yeah, that's, I guess, kind of a high-level way to look at it. But also traditionally, right, in Japan, just because of the volume of fighting game players, and then time and space, uh, for multiple reasons, just team, turn, team tournaments end up being the preferred. But this is Tekken World Tournament, man, it's a single tournament. <laughs> Look at this. Damn. Right off the bat, oh, you want to duck? I'm going to put you on the wall for it. I'm going to drip you 50% for it. But big off the crash dab, you want to go? Oh, huh. baby. Once again, another duck launch. No time to breathe for chicken. Double, here. just two big duck and launches, just like that, two hits. And this is another big difference that happened in that, that Taiwan Grand Finals like that. High impact defensive decision making, right? Very good string recognition, just situational awareness too. He knew when to look for highs. Able to take big return, big punish Chikorin very badly. For just it's like tag two almost, that, you yeah, know? Yeah. Two wrong mi mistakes and you're done. Oh, just a range of the uppercut. Plant right, plant right. Trying to touch his feet real nasty with it. Repukin. I'm trying to tone down double lateral steps. Off the crouch jab, if we get some advantage here. Jab pressure from double, back and out, stepping, stepping left, and then looking for the counter hit. Find the low parry, you want to touch my feet? No rice plan for you touch this wall. <laughs> back dash, I, lo I love that. The fact that he just back dashed out of here, he knew to expect a crouch step there. Two seconds, nothing. Come on, man, gotta do something. Oh my god, I can't believe he hopped in there. Yeah, time expiring, that wasn't that bad of a bet. He wants to but, save the meter too, it, probably. Yeah, but if it would, if that would've, man, that would've been close. A simple one one two. if that would've been able to touch in that, that amount of time, would have been a heartbreaking round. Wall Chose bounce. to focus on this one, I think. Gets the full jumping oh. confirm. Rep bender. Swat him at the wall. You want to step? Rep bender once again. Swatting at the wall. Dragon hammer. Plus range for double. Oh. Dragon killer. Double now. Just backing out. Just chilling. Build some meter on Chico yeah, inside. He's, he's up on rounds in this game. Relax. Don't try to overextend. Try to make the comeback happen. Doesn't work that time. That's Good fine. Good choice. Build it for later rounds, yeah. I think. A lot of step left. Banana peel kick. And now Chickerman ready. Locked and loaded with the punishes. That's a big difference from what you saw in the Taiwan Grand Final. And the punishes, too. Yeah. To the wall. Good use of meter. Airship. Down to 40% already. Red oh, I'm going to go back to the wall. Oh man. Still got one gauge left. It's just a, it's just very heavy momentum swings. Very heavy momentum swings. Razor gets oh. touched by the two, the follow-up and the max mode confirmed. Caught double partying a little too hard. It's been there. the same round, three rounds in a row. Gets touched early on, put back to the wall, minus 50 percent just like that. Double, you gotta be able to fight your way out of this to try to extend this set. You beat you beat him before. In a long set, mind you. Set point for Chickering now. Three. Throw tech. Chickering now doesn't have any bar to be Low able to work with. Finally going to be able to build up one here. Defense activated. Walk up, taking down for one. Back. That'll be it. And that's going to do it. Chickering over double. Double going to go outside of fifth place. Takes 25 points. Puts himself in the 19th slot over Novi. One point over Novi right now on global ranking leaderboard. Good stuff to double UIU. Out here, your man doing work. Chikorin gonna be the one that moves on here, though. So Chikorin gonna be able to take on the winner and loser side of low, high, and Aroma. Now check this out. This, these two is a, this is a really interesting combination. Once again, Aroma and low, high. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Japan, Korea matchup. Uh, the interesting thing about these two is they tend to run in, into each other in tournaments on each other's home turf. Uh, if you remember, Tek, uh, what? It was the, the Korean Tekken Masters event in uh, two years ago, right? Naroma shows up, Japanese player wins ah, that event. I remember Korea, that right? one. He had to win that over Naroma, right? Both times, next year after that, had to go over Naroma to be able to get to top eight again. But for the Tokyo events, he runs in Aloha, Aloha typically wins. And then they played, uh, what? 
They played in Taiwan, and last time it went in the it went in Naroma's favor. Neutral but territory there. Yeah, but, typi <laughs> but typically Lohai is the one that comes out the winner in the, in this matchup. So the thing is, mm, it, it really comes down to mood. Do you think we'll see uh, Jack again? That's also a really good question, right? Because character selection has been a factor in this matchup as well. Uh, not for Lohai, obviously more for Naroma. Exactly. Uh, he's mostly he's mostly run Shaheen in this matchup, but you know he showed Law earlier today. Maybe he's going to stick with him. Maybe. He got bopped with well, Law. He showed, well, he showed Law. On, <laughs> he showed Law on winner's side against me, right? Okay. But maybe he loses bracket. Maybe he still wants to run him. Maybe he wants to. You know, and, and the thing is, he's fine on points right now. Maybe, maybe he's just trying something out. Maybe he's just trying something new. There's nothing wrong with that, right? You come to a challenger event, you're not too pressed for points. It's still pre-Evo, right? There's still a really big opportunity to be able to collect some points at that Master Plus event in, the, in Evo. Right. There's nothing wrong with trying stuff out this earlier in the, in the season. See how your Law is doing against some of these character matches that have been, these player matches that have been giving you some trouble, right? This is not That's necessarily. Idea, yeah. yeah, not really one of He's them. He's already in the top eight. But he wants the points, huh? Yeah, that's well the problem. Well, the, problem the problem with the Korean, the Korean players in, in this situation is a lot of them are looking to probably maximize on challenger and master events to be able to try to get their points in because we'll talk about this after. Cue up Jack for Shaheen. Yeah, he is going with uh, Shaheen then. Yeah, both players and Jack. running their aces. At the arena, right off the bat, Jack Hammer. Man, Breaking oh, the throw. Stage. Uppercut right back at you. And this is looking like Taiwan right here. Uh. He's almost dead. Yeah, Naroma lost it. Low high in Korea, but right here. Ow. Looking a lot like Taiwan when Naroma just ran him really, really quickly. Quick first round. Working the low, trying to seal Naroma's step. Step in low, step in lows. Look for the cross top. Low high, not getting too overzealous on offense. Trying to pick his spots as best he can, gets floated. Put on the wall. Fortune, that could have ended up resulting in a big win, giving Low High a big chance. But again, finds right another, yeah, yeah. finds another robot uppercut. Oh, blocking low on the wake up kick. Huh. Simple was standing for punish, but here we go. None of my feeling good here today. Yeah, good control these first two rounds. Got kind of had a lucky exchange in that second round, but there for the most go. part, he's controlled the pace of the match so far. Low high, big hop kick here. Gonna trip you with the wall standing threes. At the wall, finds the low parry once again. He sees. He's gonna get the wall. Those reads are there. Flip kick at the wall, then goes low nice. on Oki. Yeah, low high, strong response this round. Roma trying to control that space, right? Make Low High think about how he wants to advance. I'm gonna put these lows out there. I'm gonna put these lows out there. Punch you in your kneecap. Hop, got a side step in the head. Nice. Good technique there. Roma not, not deterred from the lows. Finally gets a throw off. Low High now. Back to center stage. Okazemi puts the homing attack out there. Uppercut once again, and here we go. Naroma now, lower that shoulder, close out this first game. He was looking for that low, right? I think that's why he's yeah. sidestep. Right into the right uppercut. So like I said, player matchup over the years favors low high, but Naroma recently has had a really good sense on how to beat low high. Well, it's tricky with Jack, no? You have to sidestep left some moves, sidestep right some moves, you yeah. make the wrong choice and you're in the air. Well, so. you, yeah, I mean, you have to play around. Playing around the jackhammer and the, and the, and the yep. uppercut, right? You have to do that side step left, but of course the down forward too is the, is the check on that. Here you go, you see it. It's been all mm. robot uppercuts all day long, low high. At the wall here. If he ain't eating mm. these uppercuts, he's eating these lows. Naroma right now, heavy momentum. The width punish from low high here. Again, the flip kick. Low high looking for an opening. He's low pokes from Naroma. Jack Hammer gets it. Plant the seeds. Mid now. It's Only tough. Back up. Yeah, not trying to overcommit. He's just went in the space and just waited for it. I know you want to hop kick. Because that's basically his only tool he's had success with so far. Well, in particular, it's because Naroma's. He's been so insistent on putting out those lows, right? And of course, that hop kick has crush properties like that. So he's like, he knows, I've been showing you these lows. I know you want to hop kick right now. Strong player, Yomi, right there. On de defensive Yomi. 
wait and see. That's on the hockey connect. To the wall. Oh. Spines a low parry again. Great step from low high. Once again, hop kick. That's his only means of doing damage yes. at the moment. Surf forward ender. Instant break on the throw. Down four one to be able to check Naroma in mid range. Yeah. It's still set point in Naroma. Two more rounds to go if he wants to stay in this. Low high. Pepper with the lows. And then we have once again. Man, how many uppercuts has he, ha has he landed this set? Two minutes. Drop count. the shoulder. Low high range, and that's going to do it. Perfect. Closing it out with a perfect. That's again, historically, that matchup is in favor of low high. Past two times they've encountered each other now. The Roman's just been in control both times. In Taiwan, here in Osaka, he gets the win both times. So check this out. That means the Roma now going to go up against Chikorin. Oh, man. That'll be Pure fun. Shoe team. You get the old man from the South. Probably point. not Jack, though, huh? You think I'll go with uh, Double oh, Team perhaps? Yeah, that's, that's a good point, too, right? Especially because... Naroma has a, has a large character roster to work with, right? With Chikorin, you're really just looking at either Geese or you're looking at Jin, generally, yeah. right? When Naroma Both has... Both choices. Maybe Jin, though. Yeah, for sure, for sure. When Naroma has gone Jack against Chikorin, it has not worked out for him very well, generally. So you have to imagine maybe he's thinking about one of those alternate characters. But the cool thing about this matchup... Well, first we're going to run winner, winner's finals. You get Knee versus Kokomo. We'll talk about that, that, uh, that Lucha Semi's matchup when we get, when we get to it. Damn, Loha out of the tournament now. Huh? Yeah. Double as well. That was too bad. You know, double is really fun to watch this tournament. Very explosive law. Yeah, and like I said, he's probably the Japanese player with the, the highest rising stock right now. Had a very good June. Two big wins for a player that traditionally has not has struggled to find the win, right? I always go back to the last chance qualifier last year. You ne have you ever seen a player so confident and then just gets crushed in a grand finals like that in tears, still sitting in the chair minutes after? You know that it's a lasting impression like that. To see him the way he's playing now, the way he's been playing recently, it's almost like a completely different person, dude. Complete, just like he has comp he just had some confidence that he did that not experience have before. Yeah. throughout the tour, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, that, that's a big deal, though, man, especially for some of these young players, being able to travel overseas like that, experience those losses on big stages like that, experience those success on big stages like that, too, right? That's all part of creating a, a, a package as a player like that. Today, too, also good experience going into EVO later next month, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be the big the big shakedown, right? Uh, you have, of course, up until this point, we've seen mostly it's been the same people winning the big events. But what I, what, just what I think, just my, just how I feel, you could end up seeing, like, maybe the last six, seven spots uh, when we talk about going into the final at the end of the year. Okay. Turning into kind of a rat race on points. For some reason, they're running loser semis before the winner's final. We're in Japan, man. They don't know how to run, to <laughs> they don't know how to run the right, <laughs> order, the right order. But check this out. This is a cool matchup. Chikorin, I always call him, the, you know, we, we call him the old man Rosado jokingly. But the cool thing about this, and we talked about this earlier, right? The rise of Kyushu. Both of these players from the same region like this. The cool thing about this is Chikorin, he won't admit to it. Uh, he won't put say it this way, right? Very humble, but the cool thing about it is kind of the, the big brother senpai attitude that all those players, those young players from Kyushu have towards him. Right. They have so much play experience versus with him. They 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 train, they play play a lot of matches together, obviously over the years to be able to try to get to this level. And he's one of those players who's responsible for building up that young generation. Now the cool thing is this, you know, we talk about like that and it's, it's very token, but I didn't even really get how it was until maybe a couple months ago when I had to work on the uh, signing again. He knows all these kids' parents. It's that it, it's that tight knit. It's that close there. That's how the community is, and it just goes to show you proof is in the pudding, man. If you invest in your scene like that, you invest in your players like that. That's your scene. Look at what look at what they're doing on big stages like this. This is awesome. Geese versus Steve. Okay, did we have? Seen that? <laughs> I didn't expect that well, either. Well, Nero again, you, you talk about the Roma's character roster. It's it's at least five, six characters deep at this point that we've seen play in tournament over the past two years like that. We've seen a lot of Steve action today. Steve, uh, uh, oh, character. Steve, a rare pick for him. We've seen him play Fang. We've seen him play Dragon. Dragon uh, rent in rare instances. Mostly DJ, mostly Jack. We saw Zilga use him earlier today. We saw Ni yesterday. Nobody's been using him quite frequently as well. Yeah, but this is a character that he has shown before. While standing 1-2, duck on the high, Chikorin now, trying to take control. And you have to imagine this is a result of them having so much play experience versus each other. He knows maybe Chikorin has my Jack's number. I probably have to go to one of my other characters. 
wall splat, Chickman putting hands on the Not much right difference now. so far. Yeah. <laughs> And now we'll take him around the left side. Showing a lot of tough pressure here. Chickerman not biting. Fishing with the end. Simple jab string punish. Comes down with a one-two. Overhead swings now. A lot of good damage built up on just yet. Big swing so far, but yeah, back three confirm in the max second, mode. Second hit. Though. Willing to put the Roma back to the wall here. Break the glass. Hold this wall positioning. Hold this pressure. While standing one-two once again. <laughs> Get the arm break throw, no dice. Chicken in rage, gotta be careful, Naroma. Don't give, don't give him the opening. Got a gauge. <laughs> it's not gonna take much, don't give it to him. We'll take him out the right side. 13 seconds. Oh pressure. my god, nice Excellent. interrupt. Excellent decision. Naroma, able to bring it back. And that's the, again, those, it's the little, it's the little battles that you win with this game matchup in particular at high level. If Definitely. you can get Chikorin to spend meter in a round early on, and you take the round, you have to look at that as a small win. That's a, you gotta build the victory like that. Definitely, you, know, yeah, you can cancel if he doesn't have any meters. For so. sure. Well, especially going in the game clinching scenarios in round three, right? Most of these stuff is, you know, it's, it's minus on blocks, and so he needs a meter to oh, cancel. Finds the low shot to be able to close out in Aroma. This deep pick looking pretty good so far. Lucha Semi, this is only this is only first to two. Chipper and Woody with the tech. Oh. Counter hit. Going to the wall. Well, double set with Albatross. This time the maximum activation pays off. Roma in this corner. Tickering gonna track him to the left. Uh. Right, gets the splat, and get the re-splat as well. Looking for the down four there. Give it close it out. Dirty. Step in with the hook. Step Dirty in hook again. again. Damn. Oh. EX Sonic Bane to close it out. No Roma. I mean, that was Chikorin's route. He completely stole control of that away from him. And all it took was three, three really... One small two, whiff and three you, times you and Steve, he's dead. So. You put Steve in rage like that, you give Steve the wall like that, in rage, step in hook, step in hook, back to Ash, I see, I see the whiff. Rage drive enough to close it out. Okay, kind of a surprise here. We got the key stage coming up, sweet. I love that one, so high, the music. Yeah, as expected for sure. Change of scenery here. Our sign man has another message for us coming up, I think. I wonder what, what you're writing this time. <laughs> Drawing pictures. <laughs> Obama, calm down, take a deep breath. That's what he's saying, probably. All right. Got a five minute break coming up after this match. I'll destroy you all. Yeah, I wish they, I wish they, I wish they run the bracket in the right order, but yeah, give us a, give us a break, guys. You know we're doing. Those pin fumes are wafting over here too, for sure. Magic board, open up this round. This game, playing a lot more compact this time. Uh. Trying to shine those shoes. Maybe he's Gets powered up touch. from the stage. Gonna break all those doors. You see Chikra now beckon, yeah, beckoning the Roma come to me. Willing to back dash and you just crouch like that. Come on. Making him think about it, step in with the hook. Gotta keep that life lively though. Enraged too. Damn. Those reactions. Yeah. His quick punishment has been very, very good this set so far. Lost any one two that time. Both players are rage. Wave drive. Oh shit. I think I like this better than his oh, jack. Oh, and the Roma gives it up. That time get I can't believe he went low there. Oh. Green looking for an opening. Right now the Roma with control right. Decided to build some meter instead. Max range lows like that from Chikorin. Back three. Willing to burn it just for the pressure. Jay Ken. Yeah, Jay Ken able to push the Roman to the wall here. Nice. Wait for this corner situation. Gets the crouch that pick up. Double rep? No, single rep. Was he confident in the kill? That was quick. But then as he's getting up, comes up with the wall standing one. I think he's realized when he's throwing out small moves, he's still gonna get punished by Noroma. So he's look at that, just taunting. Focusing on building media like that, which is a good choice, I think. You come in swinging high, I'm gonna be prepared. You better come in with those mids. Fighting dirty, stepping my. Oh, God. Launch gonna put. 
Super into the wall. In the corner. Return fire. Nice. Good one play round for Corona. Simple just block punishment. Take advantage of your position. No, no, like, don't look at me. Yeah, he didn't have anywhere to go. Chikorin looking for an opening, but hits, gets hit with a counter yeah, hit. trying to be able to snipe him out of duck. Oh. Look oh, at the slap. Again. Don't punch, attack him the throw. The throws have not worked out at all for No Roma so far. He's been all too prepared. Mostly just, you have to represent the option, right? Neutral jump, why? That's weird. Okay. It might have been an input error. Sometimes that happens, right? Looking to try to snap, get the accidental jump. He's got two meters. Okay, what's out there? Put him on the throw. Tapping. Off the crouch tab. Let's get the finish. Oh. No one push to the wall. No one trying to make it as difficult as possible. Break those doors down. Chicken, we're going to take you all the way to the next one. One more time. Break these now. Not done yet. Nice. Another splat. Break Damn. those down. Three doors. We're not done yet. <laughs> now we are. Okay. Can we get the ledge? <laughs> nice. Wow, it's a beast. Finishes him off with a low. As expected, you go to Howard Estate, you know what time it is. 1-1. One, one. And Japan giving you the two most consistent players on big stages in the, pa in the past year and a half, right? That's Kiso, man. He just got bopped in the early rounds. He got the meter. And but they're giving you a full exploded. set? Yeah. I hate Kisu. <laughs> I hate Kisu. Please tell Okay. I think they are. You, you're friends with Nobi, I think. He's always complaining too. <laughs> I don't know what that meant. I hate geese? No, no, I mean, that? like, wait, wait, what? he wasn't even playing geese. Yeah. <laughs> he was disgusted watching just what just happened. That's what happened. <laughs> Brought bad, uh, bad memories, I guess, huh? Broke down the doors three times like that? <laughs> and at this point, locked in here. Chanel feeling very strongly about that. Chikorin versus Naroma. With the Naroma with the steam pick making this interesting. <laughs> Going in a flicker. <laughs> Setting one. Normal looking, trying to get some duck pressure, but Chikorin has not been able to really let him get a, get a lot out of it. Nice. Nice. Setting one, two. Fishing with Yan. Not too much mileage out of that Chikorin in the set so far. Yeah, he's have to, you have to imagine he's either trying to crush one of those lows or maybe try to tag him out of duck. Oh. The low touch. Punch Perry on the follow up. And uh. again, going to punch Perry. Well, and that's the thing with Geese, too, is, you know, his rage arts yeah. is very useful, so uh, the only thing he can look for is the extra damage boost. On an infinite stage like this, Naroma. What's the choice? This was his plan all along. You see him around, watching the down forward, too, trying to seal that step at close range like that. Shipman now coming with the jab pressure, mixing it with the lows. Big touch here from Naroma. Uh. Oh, Naroma. It's not over yet. Hold on. Almost two bars built for Chikorin. Cannot rest in your laurels yet. Run up, watch anyone. I don't think they'll choose to use him this round, though. With the low touch. Okay. Go okay. Oh. Goes mid. Nothing. Low touch and return. Saw the duck and went for the mid. <laughs> and the Roman just not trying to overextend. Not trying to give him the touch. Oh, there this it could be three. it. Yeah, and rage. One opening. Yeah. That's all it took. Oh, man. that's just watching that you get so mad. You're like, man, he worked so hard for that. It happened another way, you know, a few rounds too. So that's true. That's true. Green chipping away, trying to swing on the meter. That's Perry this time in Chikorin's favor. No kick, back three. No punish. No punish. People aren't used to it yet. <laughs> well, that's always been punishable. Uh, this is going to finish it. Yeah, rage drive. Big return here. Just able to get it. And wow, the Roman set point for Chickering. Loser side. He's trying to finish. No. 
Early health lead here. Watch hitting one, two once again. Roman trying to be very careful about how he approaches. Trading lows. Both players chopping away on health here. Back three doesn't let it rip. It hit though. Yeah. Oh, it hit again. Good luck. Maybe trying to maybe trying to conserve meter. I don't know if you want to play that game, Pickering. It's the touch. Oh, he's gonna use it now though. Oh, hey, the yeah, there touch. we go. Full set, Naroma. You're so close. Low parry. Match point. The nation point. And Naroma willing to just chill. 4 2 going to die. Chikorin trying to save off. Uh, he can't save off. Chikorin health. to burn the meter on pressure. Block it out, yeah, just backwards movement now. Let me take my low. He's gonna win my mid. Guess it! Yeah. No Roma. 2 1 over Chikorin. Wow. Quite happy with himself. Yeah, that's got. You never, in tournament, you never want to lose to the guy that you played with. You never want to lose to the guy that you practice with like that. And you had to imagine he had to been thinking about that pick in this specific matchup all this time, right? He's really he struggled to go over Chikorin in tournament like that. I'm sure and Chanel's it, quite happy as And yo, how good does that feel, man? When you bro, when picky in the brain, they come up with a plan and it works. How like how often does that happen? Not too many episodes where it goes down like that. When you come up with a game plan like that, you execute it like that, going over the player that you want to win like that, that's gotta be a good feeling for him. No I Roma think the stage now. was a big uh, factor. Yeah, for too. sure, for sure, for sure. And no Roma now, but I, it's first easy, yeah. It just all, always goes like that. You expect if you take the first game, you gotta imagine you're going to Howard State after. And it worked out that way, right? Right back to the input stage after. He said no more doors, please. <laughs> and it was get yeah, close set, but that's gonna do it. So now we have what our top three. Yeah, yep. Naroma. Gonna play the loser of knee versus Kokomo in winners finals. For some reason we ran this out of order, not sure why. Make sure you uh guys holler at uh holler at him on Twitter. But knee versus Kokomo, Rock Strikers knee versus Kokomo, loser gonna face Naroma in losers final. What you think? Any surprises for you so far? Uh, yeah, I mean the outside of that, outside of the Naroma Steve pick and most of Chikorin's matches actually. I mean, yeah. I thought uh, it was gonna be a little bit more one-sided, but uh, Naroma made a very good uh, choice there with Steve rather than Devil Jean or Jack. Somebody and this the time the young blood choices. wins. The young blood wins over the old man. That wow, that's cool. You saw Naroma smile after that too. You know that match meant a lot to him. You could tell. They never show emotion, but they were just yo. He Naroma was, so was like 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 the Grinch man, to ear to ear after that. So it's probably saying the same thing as Chanel during that time, but uh, mm. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, I'm sure Chanel had a big smile on his face too, right? He just came over here talking about <laughs> talking shit about geese. And Nobi too. He's What's a, my man right now? Hater. What you got to say? Uh, he's, he's gonna count down to the commercial video. Okay, so okay. We're, get, we're gonna get an esports break eventually. Yeah, you got it. He's, we don't we don't actually have a, uh, somebody talking in our ears. He's just gonna give us the ten. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay. We just gotta play it by ear. Let's count together. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. So you guys are... What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Tekken World Tour 2019. Well played challenger here from Osaka. My man Corey's about to introduce our players for the winner final and loser finals. This should be a face on the fast if you've uh, been watching fighting games for a few years. But I'm glad they. Oh, I'm, always, I'm always happy to see him out here down narrating these events like that. But yeah, man, the big thing is, uh, right? yeah, if you're if you're watching, no matter if you're watching on the official channel, if you're watching uh, what avoiding the puddle, or if you're watching on Bronson's uh, restream, uh, what you're watching from North America, South America, Europe, Pakistan, wherever the hell you're from. Uh, thanks for staying up with us, watching these uh, these these good matches so far from, the, from this uh, this challenger event here on Tekken World Tour. And uh, once again, Majin Obama here with Michael Murray. Up, guys? Uh, yeah, trying to close out this uh, this long weekend, man. Yesterday was pretty rough, right? Twelve hours, of, right? Yeah, two hundred plus man tournament here. You have what? We we said it. We, we said it multiple times so far. Eleven of the top 19, 12 of the top nineteen, I believe, of, on the global leaderboard right now. All your JP Pro license holders sprinkled in a little bit of Italian flavor, a little bit of uh, Bonaparte, <laughs> Bonaparte uh, <laughs> French. French. Yeah, a little bit of French out there too, but. Uh, Coming to a close now, we're going to run winners finals and losers finals. Finally, see who we get our grand finals matchup. Here we have uh, Coming up, we versus the, Nokoma. V exactly. versus Nokoma. Kokoma versus Nokoma. Uh, What's that? With losers uh, player on losers side, waiting for Naroma. V versus Nokoma. This should be interesting. Senshi no Nujo Desu. Let's see what we got. I heard these guys are good friends. Who? Nokoma and me. They might know each other. Yeah. Yo, I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what anybody says. Best entrance at CEO. Don't Probably. at me. Don't at me. Best entrance at CEO, hands down.
course. Kakoma coming through as well. Kakoma looks thrilled there. Let's poke. Uh, he's Stop like, until that. screw you. I'm not doing cosplay anymore. Until somebody got to crack a smile. <laughs> then, you, of course, you have the Roma waiting on loser side. Best girl at CEO, apparently. Yeah. All right. So once again, yeah, gonna get this winner's finals matchup going. This is gonna be a first to three, of course. Rock Dragon's knee going up against Kakoma. So who are we looking at? Uh, I'm sure Kakoma's probably gonna go with uh, Kazumi. Well, yeah, say, I mean, right? the thing is, you saw this matchup a week ago at CEO, right? Uh, top eight stage there, but these guys made their entrances. They played, and uh, last time he was able to take it, right? We'll so see what happens today. What I'm curious about, and especially. I guess my question is, is, is Koko going to queue up the same matchup? You have to imagine he watched just as much film footage of, the, of that match as anybody else did, right? If not more. Uh, there's a couple questions I have in particular. What, match, what character matchup are they going to queue up? And then what has Kokoma learned in the past few days? Well, you know, Nii doesn't really have any pronounced weak points, so it's kind of hard. Well, I mean, you, you know the story with Nii. You have to... It's not even about. It, I feel like it's not even about character. It's you have to play Tekken. You, like he's that. Ta I think he's that plays yeah, Tekken. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean, man. Like it's, it's a little bit different with him. It's not just about. Uh, you know, you're not preparing for a, a certain character. You're not preparing for. A certain, you have to be able to outplay him in Tekken. You know, it's, it's a tall. Well, tall true. One. Which is yeah. why Arson did such a good job. Is because he's got those very strong fundamentals, right? Oh, uh, okay, and another point they brought up, but this is best of five, right, I think, from this match. Yeah, it's the first of three. Ah, okay, this time you're going up against Nii Steve. And the thing is, this character matchup, too, in particular for Nii, you have to imagine, in the past, what? In the past month or two in particular, ever since that Arsenal match collision in, uh, in Thailand, you have to imagine he knows he's been paying attention to Kazumi match footage more than anybody else, or how he does against his character. Definitely. How to move against her. You see him right off the bat, establishing the sidestep right, right? Steve, uh, a right choice from me. Yeah, that, the way that the way it breaks down too, in a lot of the mid-range situations like that, a lot of there's a lot of jab. You don't be like that. You have to be aware of Kazumi's of course uh, down four one to be able to just has that subtle tracking to that side to be able to cover it. Not gonna matter though. We can sigh at the wall. Pokemon the beat down. Oh, you won't touch my shoes. I'm gonna touch you. Back to the wall. What you gonna do, Pokemon? Step in. Uh. Give me the hook. Donkey puncher on the head, just like that. Me with a very strong opening round here. Flicker jabs. Back up. Jab pressure going in the dust. Kakoma just standing by, huh? At this level, man, that what a lot of this boils down to is reactions, timing, micro movement, but also just like jab, right? Jab Yomi, down for one Yomi, low Yomi. Well, the second knee sees a pattern, he's going to parry and yeah. go for a combo, so... There's, self, there's a certain self-consciousness on the other side, too, right? You have to be aware of what option you're, a you're going to more than more than maybe some, maybe another one. At this level. Backing up. Both well, players choosing to keep the distance. Yeah, trying to, Pokemon trying to establish some jab pressure, but knee ready with those ducks. Down for a one, just out of range. And this is the kind of match, oh man, this is tough. <laughs> When, every, At a high level, when right? every hit feels so hard earned, time expiring. Pokemon with the low touch, he gets the round. Damn, good match. Focus. I mean, it's not as explosive like Double or when, those guys, when, but still. Every single touch feels like a battle, a hard earned battle like that. This is the kind of shit that makes you jealous watching this, man. I wish you could execute like this. I wish you could have this attention to detail like that. Bishop for the counter hit, does it come? Rolling thunder, block and return from me. Flicker pressure all the way down. Slowly pushing Kokoma back to the wall. Trying to seal that back step. No longer an option. Peel him off the wall. Health advantage for me. Showing right weave. Oh, Counter gets it back. Knee up two rounds. Round four. Savage jam pressure. Pokemon really just take his low strike there. Koma shaving away. Yeah, no counter hits though. Knee not. 
Giving, giving him those counter hit buttons. I'll take the damage. That's fine. I'm trying to just move. Move, look for a bigger strike. Simple jab punish. Pokemon, even just small whiffs like that, you end up paying, right? Even that little chunk of damage has is just reflects so big. It's such a huge way over the course of the match. Finally gets his knockdown. Gets an opportunity here. Spin low. Knee ready for it, though. One Oki. Jab pressure. Kazumi not even really using that down forward yeah, one Knee much. showing flicker at that range. Return fire Honest. once again. Willing to take his wall setting one, two. Off the dry. Ten seconds to go. Poke it, then a low poke right back at you. Knee takes the first game convincingly. That focus, look at him. Oh, you said running back, same stage, everything. Checking the phone, hopefully not reading the chat. Round one. That says a lot, man. Just cues up on the reset like that. Take a moment to let it breathe, but it's a battle will I'm not, here, Yeah, man. I'm not changing anything else. Let's just play, let's play it out. Play the damn set. Pokemon, a lot more Increased movement here. Yeah. He's giving up a good bit of real estate to Nii, but no big commitments here. Down for a one pressure. Down for a two from Nii now. Score with punish, but light damage so far on both sides. Jab pressure. Mm, just jabs back and forth. Yeah. Magic four. First big counter hit. Oh, no. That's so unfortunate. Finds the rolling thunder. Pokemon now with slight health lead. Ten seconds left. Able to kind of rebound from the drop. It could go either way. Off the drive. Kokoma barely ahead. Trying to run away. Good one. Gets the while standing 4-4 to be able to seal it. They're locked in, man. They're down, man. Jab and back it up. You see him buffering those ducks in there too, right? Looking for any opening you can create. Finding success for that low kick there. Hoping in that range. Mm. Simple jab pressure. Simple jabs. Take your low touch there. Just backing it up. Shaving off the health is little by little. No big swings. Tit for tat here. Yeah. Poke war. This is an actual put <laughs> The tension, though, I mean, you can yeah, tell. I mean, that's the thing, man, when, when every hit is so hard earned. It's pressure. Yeah, Tat, uh, this knee guy is pretty good. We'll Kokoma, too, though, to be able to keep up with his pace. And almost two rounds up, right? Hold on. One second Time left. expiring. Hold on to his life lead. Good oh, turn. my God. He tried, but not He enough. said, I'll give you the low. I'll I have that much faith in how much health I have left. I'll give you the low. I'm blocking it. Nice. That's the first, the first big risk we've seen in a while. Big hop kick. Good uh. return from Kokomo. Good flow here. Definitely gets the down back three, but then launch from knee. Shave off quick 25%. Jab touches. Now even on health, just like that. Kokomo's lead extinguished. Rolling Stopping thunder, away. rolling thunder. One more. Three lows in a row to close it out for Coke. Okay, one to one. First to three there, right? It's yeah, it's all winners final. There's always first to three. It's intense. Oh. Man, this is rough, and this is why. Man, playing the way the way that these guys play Tekken like this over the course of a long set like this, you have to imagine they're they're used to it by now, right? These, these are two of the most you know more well-traveled players, of course, out here out here. But it's Dude. it's still just the mental pressure and mental stamina that it takes to play this kind of Tekken over the course of a long series like this. What's he checking on his phone though? That's what I want to know. He's got notes on. <laughs> <laughs> he's not reading Twitter, Michael Murray. He's not he's not damn sure ain't in the Twitch chat. Where there's what is he linking to like Zybots or something? <laughs> We'll see.
Down for one at the start, mixing up with his lows. Alma cross in. And Lee now showing a lot more step right. Trying to rotate around, taking advantage of the wall position. Causing his weak side. No down for one to check it. There it is. Slows. <coughs> Lee backing up. Edge and slowly yeah, towards nice. the corner. The crush on that. Gets his knockdown from the jab. Oh, what a duck. Lost that one, two. Tiger. Hey. Oh, you put that heel out there. Just like that. Rage drive. Knee clapping back. Jab it, then the low touch. Pokemon trademark so far this this set. Knee doing really well with ducking and uh, counter hitting now. Yeah. Oh, like giving him, he's giving him a lot of real estate though. He's content to backdash like that, trying to look for an opening. These where he's just advancing. Slowly just pressuring towards the wall, which is movement. Lots of low. And Kokomo and Rage though. Oh man, this is tense. When Rage, you gotta imagine, not looking for the big swing, but he needs to be able to connect something here to be sure trying to get it. This is Rage. Again, that resets the, again, that resets the spacing here, though. No, Perry, he just saw it coming. To the wall. Knee. Up two rounds. Knee. That's the thing. You, sometimes you, just, you read a button press, sometimes you're wrong, right? Put that drive out there and it cost him that spacing like that. Forced it back to neutral. Close it back one there. Kokoma chopping away the lows. Yeah. Looking for an opening. Also, yeah, Good use, final use homing mids too. Trying to, again, emphasize the Watch your right step. He just up in his face waiting for a whiff. Mm, that's, yeah. He let the whole string rip. It could have been a lot. It could have been a little bit worse. Yes. Could have been launched. 14 seconds left. Kokoma has to do something. In the flicker, and, and yeah, counter hit four here. Eight could seven. Be Time expiring. Gonna run through the wall. Take your damage. Punch him in the back of the head. Drive. Oh, oh good read. Coming into the duck after. Yeah, he anticipated in, in rage like that. At that range. That would have been enough for Nii. Kokomo with a really good, yeah, really good anticipation. Good awareness. Tracks him over the head. Kokomo now starting to build some momentum. At the wall, peel him off, put him right back on. Fly to the other side. Need change of positions though. Now he gives up the positional advantage here. Scary situation. Kokomo not doing much of anything slow, at the moment. Slow touches, Nii not trying to just go all in or anything. Just willing to shave off a little bit of health. Gets the overhead swing. He does have the life lead, though. So I'll try to weave and then put the shoulder out there. Chopping away. Two more and he'll win. Off the drive. Back sway. Albatross gets the load. Oh, oh, and that's the wall. Not quite enough. Oh. Off the drive. A sliver Four, of three. health he needs. Time expiring. Oh, and not enough. Back. Yeah. Oh man, this is so tense. Such good match. Counter hit. Off the back one. Kokoma back to the wall. Uh. Bad blow, working the lows. Counter hit again, not good. Gonna peel her off the wall. Damn, put her right back on. Still has wall control. That was a quick round. Yeah. You get touched by that counter hit two times in a row like that, yeah, it's gonna be a quick round. What do you think? It's a pretty good match. I think Kokomo will probably want to stick with uh, Kazumi, right? I mean, it, 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 it wouldn't make sense to go with Dragunov here because Nii's pretty good at him as well. Well, you see, he's already yeah, committed at this point to the just the stage select. It's not going to be a character select, so you have to imagine he's locked in at this point. Winner's final, maybe, you know, even thinking 
The thing is, dude, if knee, if knee wins this match and he's in grand finals winner's side like this, you need to but, reset to yeah, take him that, out. That's, yep. a, that's, a, that's a tall order for Norma or Pokemon to be able to run two sets on knee like that. That's, that's rough. Hasn't happened often, I think. Kudans is very, done it very, once. very few instances. Not too many players. Have, all right, it's a very short list of players, for sure. But you know, Nia has got to be exhausted from these sets, though. They both. I mean, I think they both do. Do the mental stamina that playing, playing this kind of Tekken. Dude. Again, every hit, every hit. There's so much focus invested on these little touches like that. To play long sets like that, that's mentally exhausting. Koma chopping away. Yeah, trying to again. Train me. You better watch your step. I'm willing to put these homing attacks out there. I will be ready with my down forward one to check your right step. Good movement from me. And again, just the micro movement too, man. The back, the small back, that's just like that. All to keep him near the wall. All to get, oh, all to just try to create a whip potential too. Pokemon now back to the wall in rage. Now these low hits matter. Just a bit of health left. These, these, low, these little pokes back and forth, they add up, uh. checks him out the fly. Me, it's, it's hard fought, man, but momentum belongs solely to him. Big launch from Kokuma, though. Opportunity for a statement here. Be back to the wall. Kicking aside. The chat sending their power to Kokoma. Counter hit, though. It's gonna be right back at him. Oh! Massage blow. Another gas. Gets the wall down, too. Goes low on Oki. Nice mix of lows and mids there at the end. Knee on set point. Winner's final. Trying to punch his ticket to Grand. Trying to put another challenger event under his belt here. And for Kokomo or Naroma, whoever it is gonna be, man, you gotta imagine Dire Straits, you wanna take me down in Grand Finals when he's on winner's side? Oh. There we go, no happy endings here. <laughs> Who knows? You got a shot in Thailand, not in Japan, not here, <laughs> not today. Me 3 1 over Kokoma. Kokoma gonna have a shot on loser's side. Going up against Naroma. Hmm. Yeah, that's twice in the same week. That's tough, man. You go down to knee like that and those kinds of sets, but very well fought. You, that, again, that's probably a preview of why you have to have to imagine. You, you know, that's going to be a preview of what you're going to see later this year. Yeah, he seemed a bit uh, exhausted towards the end yeah, of the, I mean, the it, round. There. Again, the, the mental focus. Because you start in Thailand, you see it anytime you have those kinds of matchups like that, especially like the costume matchups where they play so compact like that. And again, very few just big swings like that, right? It, it, not a very high committal kind of game, especially when you're. A lot of the time, especially with me, right, in that matchup in particular, you see a lot of the time it's very important for him to be sidestep guarding, sidestep ducking, right? Playing very fast like that, very, very close attention to detail. Like it's mentally exhausting in, in long sets. Of course, these are arcade veterans, right? They're right. used to playing, you know, just going then drown, death matches, drowning money like that. But on this kind of stage, under these kinds of lights, it's still a different kind of energy. They're used to it. Obviously, they're veterans of the game. They've been, you know, more tra some of the most well-traveled players in the world, right? But even so, when you have to play those kinds of sets like that, it's it's, it's taxing. It does cost Definitely, you Definitely, I think so, too. We'll see how that plays out in the later rounds. Check this out. That's going to queue up Naroma versus Kokomo. This is going to be a rematch of the uh, the Poland Master event that we had, what, less than a month ago? A month ago? month and change? I forget. Something around that. Close to four weeks ago. Last time, Kokomo was able to get the win on in Grand Finals on winner's side. Naroma, I think, took one game in Grand Finals, if I remember correctly. Okay. We'll see what the character matchup, though, in particular is. That, I think that's what I'm looking for. I think our sign man has another note for you, man. <laughs> he's just doing his job, man. He's just out here. He's a jobber. Obama, your Taco work? Bell's here. Just kidding. No, I didn't order any of this. Okay, thank you. Some dudes, like, uh, wrecked their stomach, apparently, and uh, we're taking a restroom break. So, Obama and I just get to sit around and talk shit for a while until they come back. I'm sure the nice yeah, shirt, sure, by the way. I'm sure they can't wait to hear that. Is that a flamingo on there? Yeah. <laughs> Did that touch a sore I point there? No, I'm no, sorry. I, 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 I got the shirt for a reason. I like the shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Talking shit about my shirt, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
you know, I think that's what people so want to see, though. Oh, so we, we can talk about this, too, right? Uh, so you see, especially for the Korean players, this was an important weekend. We talked about that a little bit about this yesterday. It was an important weekend because I think where the strategy for a lot of them is they want to invest heavily on their master point and their challenger tier event. Uh, point return resumes, right? Because you're locked this year for Tekken World Tour. You can only have your top three finishes for Masters. Right. Only your top three finishes for Challenger events. They want to get maximum point return in those two categories. The reason why is because if you talk to a lot of Korean players, obviously that's an arcade-based uh, exactly. community, right? Green Arcade's closed now. Most of them kind of adapted to primarily PC net play and playing with their homes with one another, right? But exactly. The you know, the Lo Lohai was just telling me that yesterday. Exactly. It's all about the online play. So the problem with that is they're not getting any dojo event points. The first Korean dojo event, I think, is going to happen next week. The problem is that that culture is not established there where they go to offline venues to be able to play with each other in that kind of setting, right? The well, it's also because they had that buff Korean internet. I think it's one of the fastest in the world, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's too, right? That's all, <laughs> that's all, you have to imagine that's also a factor. Uh, they, there hasn't been the necessity for it. Tekken World Tour kind of forces that into them uh, that position now where, uh, again, we talk about the, in the, in the Dojin is the best example right now. Dojin fighting GM, you mentioned him yesterday. Right. right. Even Obscure, right? He's got quite a, quite a collection of points just from Dojo events that a lot of these Korean players do not have. They're getting most of their points from Masters and Challengers. It's going to be important moving forward. You have to imagine maybe later this year, uh, maybe some Korean events get thrown together. If they call it a Dojo event, maybe it's somebody's house. Might get some eight Shades of Apex. Well, yeah, and they were just telling me it's kind of like the Japan scene where it's really expensive for an individual to try to rent a location yes, to do that. So. It's, it's less of an issue in Japan. There are some places, again, Fighting Tuesday. More recently, also, yeah. yeah, the Chicken Cup that just happened, those are Jojo events. Oh, also, in Osaka, they have the Osaka uh, what, Gaming Cy Cyclops Gaming House right. as well. There are some spaces like that, but it's it's more of a pressing issue for the Korean players in particular. Maybe some of the teams will step up to maybe help them out the space. Uh, that, that'd be cool, right? You always see uh, the Roma and Chikorin's uh, teams and org organization there, they're, they've done so. But this is gonna be your loser's finals matchup here. The Roma versus Kokomo. JP versus Korea, once again, it's gonna be a rematch of the Poland Masters tournament that you guys saw a little bit over a month ago. So let's see, running back, what did the Roma learn since then? That's the big question. I told you about yeah. reading the chat on stream like that, man. It's very unprofessional. <laughs> I'm interacting with the community, man. It's important. <laughs> That's community interfacing for you? Yes, it Read is. Read the chat? With this interaction, they Whatever, ask man. questions, I so answer look, on stream. You look at this matchup, how do you feel? Uh, it depends, you know. I, we've seen Kokoma go with a few characters. Uh, He's had uh, Kazumi. He's gone with Dragonov. Yeah, he ran Drag this weekend and had some really good, uh, really, really good results with him, right? Then Noromo, we've seen with uh, Jack, Devil Gene, but more recently today, Steve, right? We could see another Kokoma Kazumi versus the Steve again, and uh, I'm sure that would be kind of grating after that uh, match he just had. So, uh, if I were Noromo, that's what I'd go with. And for I mean, also you got to talk about how he feels right now, right? This is the problem with this is the problem with running your winner's final straight into your loser's final. Kokoma coming off of a defeating, a deflating loss like that after playing a very mentally taxing game, right? Definitely. Well, meanwhile, Naroma, he's fresh off of a win against Chikorin. He's had, he's had, dude, he's look at him. He's, he's, he's happy as can be right done. now. He's, he's happy like, to love you. He's just like, yeah, let's go, man. Give me your power. Definitely in favor of uh, momentum. Uh, <laughs> Life right? it, he heard me. <laughs> Definitely in favor of Naroma. This is why you don't run the tournament this way, right? But here we go. If you guys want to see that Kaz Kazumi cosplay again, you better be cheering for Kokoma, huh? And yeah, okay, Naroma, yeah, doubling down on the steep thing. I thought so, see, I called it, right? Good choice. You notice it worked, you know? Nothing fancy, just stay out of range. Poke away with the highs and lows. Same character matchup for Koma. Oh, this is good. And that's the thing, right? He was studying you, knee, huh? Yeah, well, <laughs> studying knee, but then also, yeah, see how Naroma moves a little bit differently than knee. How, what options yes. he differently. That's going to throw him off base. Spacing. That's going to throw him off in the beginning. Looks like the move choice as well. Yeah, you just, play, you just played a really long set. Used to, again, a certain pattern of attack, a certain pattern Almost of Almost trained in, yeah, in a way, yeah, right? And Naroma comes in, he's doing something completely different. That's going to mess with him at first. See Naroma right off the bat, willing to get just me measure those jab pressure, trying his best to corner Kokoma. Kokoma really good right step to be able to try to rotate on the outside. Good movement yeah. away from the wall. It's a flash punch knockdown. Oh, what a clean step around, and Naroma able to get the hit in the round, man. Okay, good counter hit. Yeah. It's the flip. I'm gonna do it with the. 
Plus range there. Nice punish. Yeah, Wasani 4-4. Little touch, mixing up the mid. Koma chopping away. A little bit more freely than he did with knee. His jab, throw broken. Oh, counter hit four. Gonna get a sidewall here. And again, I like that. Just rotate around, give up any uh, little hit you would get. Rotate around, try to maintain that wall positioning. Put yourself in a good position, try to close out the round off the next hit. Two, once again, throw broken. Not a factor yet. That's the full hit. One, two. Tiger style, that's a wall. Dangerous nice. getting the low to shut, shut down, down the drive. Koma looking confident here, as he should after that knee battle he just had. He's a veteran, you know. Not susceptible to kind of the uh, that same kind of guard, you know, mental guard breaks that maybe you might see some of the younger players. But off this counter hit now, he's gonna get good carry on the roam against the wall. Running two there, willing to just clock out, take the damage that he gets from that. Still able to, again, maintain that frontal wall positioning here. Jab pressure once again gets his knockdown, down 4-1. He's starting to notice it's not knee, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's the big thing, right? The, the initial round, when you notice the difference, is right off the He's bat, like, I got this. <laughs> yeah. When you notice the difference immediately, that first round might throw you off. But then when you slowly adjust and slowly settle in, Kokum is still dialed in. I had him wrong. It's the pressure, I think, you know, against knee. And he's kind of been freed from that in this match. Step in hook. Oh man, I spoke too soon. Good, he just waited for that. Wait and see. Sometimes it's the best it's the best option sometimes. Definitely. The Roma in particular famous for that, right? Let's go with the stick sometimes, just like see what he does. Kokoma looking to get some damage here. To the right side, had a big whiff there, couldn't quite pull. There we go, counter hit four. Just, man, just short of the wall too, that's crazy. The amount of carry she has. Back to the wall. Yeah, sealing the step there. Jab pressure, one, two, three, four, let's rip. Last thing, one, two. Oh he, my god, he's willing to press there. Not seeing many lows from Kazemi here. Jabs. The drive and then the step. And yeah, gets the low. First one goes to Naroma. And now this is what you were also talking about, right? This Dragunov, huh? Kokume, okay. yeah, he's played this character in a couple matchups this weekend. Is it time to bring him out? By now, you have to imagine, yeah, he's lost, what, I think, what, four of the past five games with, with yeah. Kazumi. Might be changed in time for that change of pace. Yeah. And when he played Drag earlier this weekend, he was looking great. Exactly. No, stick with the game plan. I like it. Psych. Yeah, you, he's second in guessing himself too. <laughs> you feel for him, right? That's we've all been in that position sometimes. Where you're like, do I st do I stick with the game plan and just try to fight fight it out, figure it out? Maintaining his confidence in the Kazumi pick. Dragunov might be an interesting pick, actually. Maybe some more pressure with the Russian, the Russian assaults. Uh, some of the pressure the Dragunov has is quite different than Kazumi, so it could be a good changeup, actually. But uh, he chose to go with what he knows. Round two, loses final three. Right we putting the shoulder on her. Naroma doing a really good job of mixing up his pressure approaches. This time you see a lot more right weave. Overhead swing. Oh. Chopping Step away. in, rolling thunder. Counter hit trade in favor of Naroma. Kokoma takes rage. his damage. Goes mid, mixing it low. Oh. And goes on the low again. Naroma looking focused here. Is 
D, right? He struggles with those kind of like power lows like that. But these, these those short chops, right? Like the down one. Right. Will he just take his, his cheap damage again from, from that and it, 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 it adds up in the end? Steve gets a lot of good trades though. Yeah, that too. Just out of range of the hook. Ender. And the home, oh my god. Pokemon, put him on the wall, peel him right back off. Good read on that. You want a sweep? The Roma is going to make you pay for it. Round three. Fight. Trade again in favor of Neroma. Able to take, get a little bit of real estate for it. Magic four in return from Kokuma, though. Going to be able to just negate it. A little bit late on his fly carry, huh? <laughs> That's low. Oh, wow. Look for the backsway connect. Doesn't work out. 4 2 trying to duck. Eats a rolling thunder. This time, trade still in favor of Neroma. It's a back turn touch. And then, yeah, finds the low after. Fortunately, kind of scramble situation there for Kokomo. Like, we've there to make connection. Counter hit this time. Quick hook. It's going to drop her at 40%. Put her at the wall. Damn. Damn I'll, take, I'll take that back. <laughs> Not 40, 50. Watch this mid hit. Break on the throw. Pokemon not gonna give it to him. Rolling Thunder. Homing attack. Not, homing attack. Shut not down. gonna matter. Yo, no Roma. Complete momentum control right now. He's going Dragon off, I think. Yeah, I would, I would move away from Kazumi if I were him. He just seems like he's hit a wall, you know? So if he cues in drag, the problem is he's gonna be locked in for the rest of the time, too, when you have to. I mean. No, Roma is a, as a player, he's had really good success against Drag too, and he has yeah, he has a yeah, he has a diverse character roster to work, be able to work against him. He knows the character just as well as Pokemon's gonna know him too. So many Kazumis too, as well. I mean, as far as opponents go, unless he's got a pocket someone, you know, I don't know, Ka Katarina or something. At, at this, at he's this, just Katarina before, right? At I think. this level and the way he plays, it's, I don't think he's gonna go with it. He, not any picks like that. It's gonna be Drag or it's gonna be Cosme, right? Even he doesn't know, right? <laughs> But, he's, but I like him doing this, right? It's, it's better. Look, man, nobody's sitting there with a timer, but, you know, there's no like, cattle prod guy in the, behind the curtain or anything like that. Take your time. You're winning a long set like this. Dude's tired, too. He just hey, got, got out of a man, best of five. Exactly. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm saying. The thing is, again, if the TO ain't going to give you a break, give yourself one. Shit. Should pick Paul. I agree. Hold it over, that's fine. Just take your time, breathe. At this point, yeah, you're, you've lost what? Five of the... <laughs> Make him feel bad. Huh? He's gotten one game in the past, like what, five? Five, six? You need to take the break. It's on you. He needs that dime back uh, nose spray, huh? I think he just needs a break. Just just let it, let it rock. There's no timer at this screen. Take all the time you need to take, Pokemon. Because you're not going to get this game back, you know? You rush into it. <laughs> it's going to do random pretty soon, yeah? Dragon off, yeah, that's what I thought. And he's locked in too. Sure, man. Why not? See if you can turn this around, huh? I mean, it's gonna be. T you have to imagine, yeah. A lot. We talked about it before, right? Mental pressure, stamina. Comes through with this character change, but well, he may have taken away the momentum I mean, that uh, Norma got, had got, as well. He's got to run the Roma three straight, though. Is the, is the problem when it has to do with this character? Uh, when you're locked in like this, back to the wall. Round one. Let's so see if he does what you were talking about, right? Trying to build up plus frames with Russian Salt, work the knife a lot more. So far, not working out. Noromo. Noromo's just bulldogging yeah. it, though, man. Launch after the weave. Counter hit. He's got some space here, see what he does with it. That's the thing, yeah. Kokuma has to beware. The threat of counter hit back one. 
Can't get too antsy with those mid-range pokes like that. See him trying to rotate around. Down a hit. Another trade. Another not trade in favor. in favor of Naroma. Heal off the sidewall. Oh, just run up in his grill, not yeah. doing anything yet. Then gives him the low touch, gives him mid. I think he's kind of psyched out at the moment. Take the legs. Plus frames, where are you going? Okay. Roma just picking all the right opportunities to press. See him yeah, mixing up his steps. Got his step direction in, in the there. mid range as well. Maybe throwing a slide. Yeah, working the down for two duck pressure as well. <clears throat> going in the flicker. Mm. All right. Yeah, takes those lows. Dragonoff's actually got a few throws that are good, right? The command grabs. Or not command, but you know the... Sure, we haven't seen that come into play too much so far, but... Here we go, yeah, because both of these players are ready, ready for throw break six time. On both sides. Down for two duck pressure. Pokemon gonna put the knife out there. Nice, good return fire on the slide, punish. Ducking in, showing right weave as well. Another knife. Just about, yes. Extended duck there. Oh, and just like that, you give Naroma the healthy. Okay, low parry this could be Pokemon. it. Use the Rage Art, you're good. Yeah. Uh, it goes for the Rage Art. Drive in the style right. of the yard. Yeah, let's go, Kokomo. Okay. It's fair and better than with, uh, Ko with Kazumi, then. Yeah, he's already doing better than him, right? Take two rounds like this. No, again. Okay. Yeah, throws are just not even not even on the table with this matchup. So we're trying to take it to round two. Yes. Trying to take it to round five. Final round. Yeah, the Roman now set point. We're trying to punch his ticket to grand finals, go up against me. In Osaka, but Kokomo got a shot. I would like to see the run back. That'd be exciting. Willing to swing on Steve at this range like this. See that assault oh, yeah. That's a good, that's a good health like lead right now. And this is where Steve struggles too, right? When he's down on health like this, he has to approach now. Good slide. Slide in from Nice. Then, see, yeah, nice that's what kick. you got to do. Just any one, two punish on the knife. Okay. Still have a little bit of health left. You gotta beware though. Oh, there you go. That was still a very sticky situation, man. He was on one, one low parry, one drive away from being right back in there like that. Kokomo though, able to rebound, take this game, extend the set. Okay, looks like he's feeling a little but bit more now confident. You, and now that Kokomo is locked in on drag, my question is, Naroma, what do you do with the Steve pick? Are you willing to sit on Steve or what? You now have your, what, four or five other cards you can play in this situation? Are you confident? I think he, he feels pretty dominant with Steve, I would think. Yeah, but. I mean, it's, it's, he's, had, he's had momentum control. He's, I mean, it feels like it's the same the same set as before, right? When he, you might want to change up and go with Jack, though. I mean, he's Kokoma's had quite a few rounds well, against Steve that's already. That's the benefit so. of being in the lead like this. He has the benefit of being able to, rest, to, to, to say that, right? He's like, cool, I'm, I'm cool to run that back. That was a close set. You know, I'm, what, one or two different decisions away from take, make, making that win. I'm in the lead. I got nothing to lose. Now, if he loses this game, then we might be able to, you know, consider See a little Jack? bit more deeply. Yeah, for sure. But right now, yeah, nothing wrong with way, the way he played. Yeah, it was pretty tight. It was close. Could have gone either way. Kokomo is looking like he feels a bit, a bit better about this matchup, though. He didn't pull out the phone for some time now. They said Mishima Dojo. Steve Drag, same matchup here. Mishima Dojo. So, how does Naroma respond? It's a knife, it's another low right at the start. Shade goes down to down for one pressure as well. Four knives, just like that. Shade, 50% off Naroma's health. Good punish. Yeah, in range with the step in hook though. 
Pokemon though with good return here off this hop kick. Gonna get Naroma at the wall. Mm. Flip him. Off the plus frames. What you got? Looking like a totally different player at the moment. Stepping low, yeah. At the wall. Look at that, look at that pressure, man. In the corner, no yeah, less, wasn't huh? even, wasn't even doing anything, just presses. And it sets up for this positional Good advantage punish. here. Get off, Stop this blocking punishes. He's been able to get a lot of mileage here. Pokemon still back at the corner. Locked up like Akon. But he's, he, he's not in a hurry to get out either, right? He's just he's simply trying to just jab his, jab his way out. You won't be able to intercept there. Until he ran out of health. Just no. Reaction so fast. Again, back at the wall. Great with this before. And same situation, same situation as last round. You gotta look magic. Kokomo looking to step a little bit left, but gotta be dangerous against Steve. He does have rage though. Okay. That movement, yeah. though. Stayed on the ground. Just want to go back as much as possible. Not possibles. enough. Rage drive once again. Set point Naroma. Uh. Rush and salt. Yeah, willing to just extend his jab pressure. Try to slowly advance towards the corner as much as possible. Plus frames. What a step on that knife. Oh my god. Stepping left in the mid range like that. Oh. Completes the string. Just, yeah, in return, I'll, I'll give you this low. He did all that. That's off the, the right weave. Here we hurt. go. Strings. Good mix up. And then comes in with it. Naroma, there you go. 3 1 over Kakoma. In a run back of the Masters event that you had in Poland, this time Naroma comes out on top 3 1. Thanks nice handshake again. there. Steve Pitt, and then uh, that's going to set up your grand finals to be me versus Naroma. Interesting matchup. Steve versus Steve. <laughs> yeah, so we saw this actually at uh, at the Korea Masters event in May. Uh, that time, Ni nee able to uh, put, put Naroma in loser's bracket. If I remember, was that in top 16 or in pools? I can't remember. I want to say it might have been in pools. Actually. Yeah, I can't recall. I'm, it might have been. But it's going to be a run back of that, that match. I, at this point, it did every match is a run back. But uh, <laughs> thanks to you guys for staying up with us, from where, watching from wherever you are, whether it's the official channel, whether it's, uh, once again, wherever you are in the world, whoever you're watching with, whether it's Aris, Bronson, whoever, man. Uh, we appreciate you guys staying up with us. It's been a long weekend. Michael Murray, you hung, you hung in there. You were looking pretty tired yesterday. Yeah, I feel a little bit better today. But yeah, that's good. That is. We're clapping it up. Once again, give it up for Kokoma. Full house It would take actually. the third place finish here. You guys can... Uh, Oh shit, I knocked the light out again. Sorry, man. That's fine, man. I like it like this. I like it. It is more Tekken like, right? Oh, He's like, oh shit. come on, man. Here it comes. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to give these Just dudes a. Yeah, next time you do it, don't even say anything, man. Just, yeah, all right. Are they, they don't listen to what we say, do they? Yeah, man. That guy's over there. He's they would have shut us down a long time ago if that were the case, no? Anyway, check it out. This matchup with <laughs> Roma versus Knee, Grand Finals. Who you like? Winner side is hard knee. to bet against Knee. Yeah, winner side is hard to bet against Knee. But. <laughs> What are you looking for Naroma to try to do that maybe uh, he's, he's struggled with in, in this, this me character matchup, player matchup in particular? My question is always what character does he go with again? Well, I mean, both these guys when they sit down and play, right? What character are they going to queue up against each other? I don't know. It's just that, you know, Naroma's really that bulldog style, right? And he does that really well. He can just create that optimal distance and counter punch you all day long. So I just think the matchup is really uh, not a good one for, for Naroma, I would think. Whether that's, you know, Devil Gene. I'm curious, if he's, I'm curious if, he's gonna, if he's gonna double down on the Steve. He, I would imagine he does it, but. That's one of these main characters, yeah, yeah, as would, is Devil Jin. Give, so given that, I would imagine he does it, right? But uh, he could go with Jack, I guess, but, you know, that's someone that uh, I think Nee's played quite often as well, whether that's Anakin, whether that's Saint, you know, there's a lot of Jack players out there. It's, it's really a tough choice, you know? Unless uh, Noroma has some kind of character he hasn't shown us yet. We'll see. He's got to do a reset. Well, yeah, no I mean, the, the truth is at this level, it's less about character experience and it's more about just like how you feel about the player matchup when running that it's character. So quiet right? here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I feel, good. I feel bad talking this loud. <laughs> You're always loud, man. Don't worry about it. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm extremely self-conscious in this room right now. Yo, give it up to Hamiko and Genya too, man. They've been hustling all week. Even though Tanakana gave them a break yesterday, we didn't get anybody to give us a break. That's cool. I still respect them. They got out here doing the damn thing, what, 15, 16 hours this whole weekend too. They did Kelo exactly. Cup as well. Give it up for Zugal too, man. Out here uh, holding on the JP commentary. You can, of course, always watch them on twitch.tv slash Tekken underscore JP. You guys, uh, I know there's a lot of weaves out there, man. If y'all like that hype JP stuff, go over there and support them, man. Tweet out them. We, hey, I enjoy listening to you. It goes a long way. But we're not going to get into this grand finals, this well-played Osaka Challenger event here. 150 points on the line for this challenge. Definitely. Yeah. And it's, uh, like I said, going to be maybe a preview of what you'll see at, all at World Finals. I have to imagine at this point, right? Def yeah, I mean, we got all the uh, top ten here pretty much. Here we go. Dramatic entrance. Since you know New Joe Dads. The angel music coming on. No break, you are correct, chat. versus Naroma, Japan versus Korea. Always again, always a pleasure to see Corey out here doing player introductions, uh, hosting an MC duties. If you guys don't know that, like I used to, I used to do the same uh, MC work for the old SBO series as well. Doesn't he do like K1 and that stuff as well? I he, think he does. He's a professional, right? That's, yeah, he, does, he does for everything, right? I told you last last week he was doing Pokemon. Daigo was on the Pokemon stream playing Shadowverse. Corey, everybody just laughing at him. Well, how's that work? He's on the. What? Don't, don't ask. Don't ask. <laughs> okay. You, I, did, I did not misspeak. Don't ask. I'll take your word for that. <laughs> so here we go. Naroma going up against Knee here. Knee winner side, man. This is a tall order to try to beat. <laughs> First to three in long set like that, too, man. That's brutal, brutal, brutal order. But you know, even for Naroma, I wonder if, you He's know, like, again, get off the damn phone. Ch yeah. Challenger event this early on in the schedule. Maybe try something different, see how it works out. Okay. Steve Steve Dragon. Dragon. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. And this didn't really uh, matter who you pick against me, I guess, at the end of the day. Me vs. Noroma, huh? That's how we're reading now. Here we go, man. First to three grand finals. Been a long weekend, guys. Thanks for sticking around with us. Here we go. Last match of the weekend. Me versus Noroma. Korea versus Kyushu. At Mishima Dojo. I don't know why I'm, why am I whispering? I, they, they make me self-conscious, man. I told you. <laughs> because they're being really intense. I'm sure Eris is making an even more interesting comment about that at the moment. He usually, he, he usually has uh, the more interesting comments to make, but here we go. I know, man. It's I can't. right off the bat, stepping in. Aggressive as always. Roman with these crowd stabs, though, trying to interrupt some of that pressure. You gotta imagine though, me taking notice of that. But it's just me, you know, yeah. taking a few looks before he downloads them. Oh, there we go. Oh, Down oh, for two. Oh, Big oh. pickup here. Will he go low on Oki? Running the knife at the wall. Parallel to the wall. Me rushing in. Three in a row. Big counter hit here. To the wall. How does he clock out? Uh. Not enough. Goes low on Oki though, wow. and that is First no problem. Yeah, okay. impressive. Break on the throw immediately. <laughs> Even though at this level, you know, everyone's so good about break, breaking grabs. Like, I feel like we've seen like maybe one necessary top eight. But the thing is, you still have to establish it in the mid range like that. You still have to establish that as a threat. I am willing to do this. It might give you an open, opening later on. Well, you know, Steve only has that uh, double punch grab that you're going to look out for, but Dragonoth actually has a few that you need to yeah. watch. 
nice. And look at me in this mid range, so, so much step right. Trying to rotate around. It's, it's, it's getting a lot of miles out of it, too. Opening up for some of these low, low damage taps. Though. These low damage taps, but they've added up. No big swings here. Seems like he's uh, more comfortable to sit back though and give Stepping him some distance. Stepping left, eats the knife, but then, yeah, once again, down mm. one That body blow. Good tracking on it too, man. Homing attack, of course. <laughs> Just up in his face, man. To get off the plus range. Willing to just contempt to just extend the pressure with jabs, right? First knife. So he just baiting his opponent? And yeah, go with punish from knee. It's so tense, man. Like, it's this, it, it feels the same, man. It, all these little hits, so hard earned. Finds a low parry. Damn. Knee. Carry to the wall. Mm. Side punch. Knee trying to keep him there. Counter hit low. Oh, man, counter knife. Off the 10 drive. seconds left. He just backs off, takes a mid blow. Wow. Someone else might walk away. He's just going to go up and rush him down. Counter hit. Quick oh, hook. Back one, yeah. Round start, just like that. Uh, oh, misses it. Jab pressure from Naroma. Not going to matter, though. As the match is going on, man, knee feels more yeah. and more comfortable. Overhead swing there. Naroma back to the wall. What you got? Good duck. Great duck. Where does he go? Character select? He said no. Jack? That would be cool if he picked uh, Steve. Huh, lol. Nah. Really? He's contemplating it. Yeah, he's just thinking, man. Just... I mean, this is this is part of it too, right? Just go over there, just hover around random characters. Why not? This was uh, Kokomo about 10 minutes ago. I think this works on a lot of people, but not on me, is the thing. He's just like, whatever, I know <laughs> yeah, these yeah, exactly. all. You could be Mokujin, I'd bust your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I actually didn't even want to change. But just go to the character select, let it yeah, let the match breathe for a little bit. Give yourself a breather, give yourself a break. And he's just taking a break here, waiting for him to decide. Oh, oh so he changed the stage instead? Yeah, he goes for abandoned temple here. Again, remember winner side up this knee. Again, remember winner side up this first game. Roma has a lot of work to do. He's gonna make this interesting. Even he's got a lot of work to do. Whoa. The Japanese commentary talking about how he really has that in fight uh, advantage, and he's kind of able to implement his strategy as he wishes. Just dash pressure. Uh. Low parry, man. He sees it. He's got a strong read on the lows right now. Those spins in. Throw escape. Throw a break from Naroma. Down for one pressure. One jab that time. Knee ready with the guard on the knife in the mid range. For one back up off the drive. Yeah, but he did his job. At this point, he doesn't have to commit. One hit from uh, Knee could kill him, though. There it is. Sees the knife. Yeah, block and punish. Oh, not as bad as it could have been. Yeah, not as bad as it could have been, but even that knockdown. These little touches like this add up. Another with knockdown way, with the way that the match pace is, right? Duck from knee. Very stiff on guard. Again, take his low punch on. A... Tries to sidestep. Good punish. Standing one two. Wow. Gets a low. Up, gets the low punch. Just Me, dominating. Yeah, complete, complete momentum in his favor right now. Roma well, doing his best, but right now, Me is just all in one. 
And he's looking for a trade here. Good punish. Stand up close. Super jab string, Russian assault there. Connects. Trying to push knee to the wall. Plus rings. Wow. wow. Gonna close it out. Around to the right side. Rage drive. Gonna close out. That's 2 0. And you know. Nii's defense is so good is what allows yeah. him to stay up in his face it's like that. The entire time, right? Just very stiff guard. Very, very, very good. Just good defense. In particular on the lows, he's minimized as much as, you know, a lot of punishes compared, there, to yeah. the, compared to the first game, right, where he ate a couple couple counter hit knives, so you were just willing to give him the low hit. Now he has a complete read on when Naroma wants to go for him. And you know, we don't see time. Nii duck that often, so you know he's actually reading yeah, Naroma. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, it, he's not, like, waiting on or anything like that, he knows. Yeah. See what that Naroma's gonna go with Jack. Yeah, he finally I goes with it. Jack, but is it too little too late at this point? Nii's up 2-0 two, two on winner's side here, he's, and he's locked in at this point, too. Naroma People sending work. their energy to Naroma. Got his work cut out for him here. He's got the power of the crowd here behind him. Knee unfazed though. He's used to this. Just another day, day at work for Knee. So what do we got? Steve versus Jack here. So we'll see how this goes. Maybe yeah, he'll feel a little bit more comfortable. Got. Uh. Right off the bat. Uh. Takes a guaranteed strike on the ground like that. Oh, trying to away. chip away at the help with the, with the lows. Mm, doesn't hit. Actually, yeah, misses up cut. Good punish. Knee's still keeping that distance, like right up in his face. It's a good strategy against Jack if he can do it. Back to the wall, no fear, it doesn't matter. On the 4 2. Debugger, no block debugger. Yeah, we're cool. We're cool. Uh. Knees, just zero panic. He's, he's just not, like, <laughs> there's nothing you can do yeah, to me. He's, he's like. just zero panic. <laughs> you can ease complete control. He's like Neo in Matrix, you know, when he like wakes up he and can, he's like. Yeah, he, he sees something that you and I cannot. For sure. Run up low parry, man. He, how did he know that he would go for that there? Uh. And the splat. <laughs> and again, just chilling. He's just wait and see. And this is a lot of damage from Jack, though. Jackhammer, though, in rage. Plants the seeds after. Really good return. Okay, here oh. we go. Tombstone. Oh, Kazemi, what are you going to do? Damn. Strong round from Naroma there. That's the first throw. That might be the second throw we've seen all this top eight. <laughs> Definitely. Knee was so relaxed, he didn't even see that one. Jackhammer, jackhammer. Getting away with the mid pokes here. Knee, finally, yes. He's a whip punish. Sonic Bang. Jab string, take your touch. The Roman now in rage, and there it is. Finally gets it. Debugger has wall positioning here. Knee oh. also has rage Broke though. Trey! Oh! Oh! Stuck on Not the drive! Quick enough. He's only got what five games left? <laughs> but, the, but this <laughs> Hold, don't don't count him out yet, man. This is how you build it. You can't win all five games just like that. You gotta chop away. Play it round by round, just like this. Ugh. Sonic Bang. With punish with the one one two. Man, playing knee though must be like one playing one of those SNK bosses though. Hmm. Okay. Naroma, I see you. Really? At the wall. Drop that shoulder. Naroma, there's a response. See, and I knew he was drinking water during the match. That, that must have been it. And now you have to... He was hydrating. That's the thing, man. Now you have to wonder, <laughs> again, not a, not a huge loss, right? This challenge event early on in the season, right? That Why not? Try something out. Try something different. But now he runs, he takes his jack pick. Well, switch to jack was good, yeah. yeah. Runs, runs the first game just like that. Maybe you should have play, been playing your ace this whole time. You Stick know? with what you know. <laughs> Oh, and here we go. He was <laughs> up the ball pick, and there you see that that expression on the right side says everything.
I knew it was coming. Yeah, it's just four minutes late, right? Knee fine, okay, you take that first game, you adapt it. Good stuff. Cue up the paw. <laughs> Here we go. Man, this is on a wall stage too, oh man. This is gonna suck. Yeah. Ouch. Don't count him out yet, man. Let's see what he's got. One. Looking for that death fist. Ball Gonna do right the open. Okay. Jackhammer, jackhammer. Uh. Ball frame punch. Whoa, big launch. The Roma. This could be it if he hits the wall. He'll, he'll, he'll get it. Not enough. Run the Oki, but jackhammer. Yeah, he was low. Guarding low. He just holding right. down. So punch the intercept. Nice. Upper cut. Caught him sidestepping. Yeah, big range there. Fisher for the counter hit Not there. Not trying to overcommit. Fisher with the uppercut. Open the mid post. Great step left from knee. And that's going to be big return uh. from that. Nice 40% chunk. Naroma just outside of rage too. Jackhammer. Jackhammer again on Oki. Holy Gets shit, launched. Naroma. Second round in a row. These high impact launches. Slowly swaying momentum in favor of Naroma. Here the crowd's excited. Knee gets the throw. Right. No throw break. Low on Oki. Just oh, gonna wait. Man. He's like, do, it. do what you wanna do. Uh, uh, uh. Hit pick up and a to the wall. the wall. Yep. Perfect. Come on, Aroma. Oh. Looking for another launch. The whip punish. That's the thing. Gotta be, you have to watch for knee step to the left side like that. Slide and low. Can't get Jack Hammer at the wall. And that time you saw the Aroma put the brakes on his pressure that time. He saw the step. Counter hit four. Here we go. Set point, tournament point for knee. Paul Pick threatening to put the Roma's jack in the dirt here. And abandon Temple, working the jackhammer. Backing up. Oh, just stuck it in his drill. Good parry. Oh, parry, and yeah. Good parry, gonna put this wall pressure on the Roma here. Jabbing on in, lost any four in return. Working the lows. Low parry once again. again at the wall. Death fist. Just a little bit more. Jackhammer. Can Low Roma do something? Roma. In the rage. In rage if he can get a big launch, maybe take advantage of the wall. Low touch. Oh. And then up low. That does it. Knee. Broken one knees. Roma in grand finals here. The winner. Second World Tour 2019, your third challenger event at the Asia region. You got one more left on the schedule, but here, well played Osaka. It's going to be me that takes the 150 points. Good stuff in Aroma, though. Yeah, kept it interesting for a while. Kokomo also third place. Knee just continuing to build up those. That, man, he's what? He had 770 points going into this weekend. This might be his third challenger, I think, on his that resume. Is? Yeah. So that, yeah, it's going to put him, what, over 900 at this point, man. So take a vacation, no? Oh, do Hopefully. You, do you want to? I mean, you know, uh, you're, you're good on points, perhaps. It's, do you want the money, right? Well, the, the, well, it's, maybe with him, maybe that's that's a factor, right? But also, you have to imagine you want to. I was thinking about stay the in other shape. players. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe somebody so. But also, <laughs> who would enjoy me taking a vacation? But also staying in shape, experimenting, and you have to imagine for me too, right? Like he's talked about this. It, he feels like now he has something to kind of pursue, right? The Arsene Ash thing got, got a little fire under him. Yeah, it looked like it. You know. It, it, it's not like he's uncontested at this point. It's, you know, you, you have to imagine maybe there's a sense of pressure on him as well. Be able to come out here and just continue to perform like he's this. He's used to being the boogeyman in the Tekken community, right? Someone threatened again, his, uh, his, you know, his power there. He's got to step up. For sure, but thanks to everybody who tuned in, stayed up with us to be able to enjoy this, uh, this top eight here in uh, Osaka. You know, watching from wherever you guys were watching, watching with, with whoever you were watching with. We appreciate you guys. It's a long weekend. Michael, we were on our uh, last legs last night, but uh, came here today, ran this top eight. Knee comes out the winner here. Uh, 
double tied for fifth, come up with 25 points. The big point implication changes. Mostly kind of minor shakeup amongst the top 11, top 12. But you said in, double. But, but in, the, the, in the end, the since they're all above 400 point threshold at this point, not a huge impact. Right. Double is going to be the big winner here. Comes with 25 points. Actually scoots Nobi out of the top 19 at this point. Moves over Abel and Nobi. And uh, right now, I think he's sitting at number 19. But Nobi's uh, working hard on doing a dojo pretty soon, huh? Uh, yeah, I believe so, right? Uh, that's also, yeah, what we were talking about too, right? Japan, it's less an issue for Japan. It's still an issue, but less so for Japan compared to Korea in particular. Uh, their dojo events uh, in volume have been lacking. Right. So you have to imagine there's going to be a sense of urgency maybe towards the latter half of the year to be able to just, you know, get together. Hell, if we can run... Go to City Park, get some generators, if we can run a dojo event outside in the heat. You know, do what you got to do to be able to uh, put, it, put it together. But well, It's tough for the players to travel, I think. You know, the dojos are probably more for the people who don't. So the, the players that do travel have to kind of schedule that around the Masters or other events they plan to travel to. So it's kind of hard. You got to get a location. You got to get everyone to get to, together. What is it, like 96 people if you want the max points? Yeah, well, oh, true. But to be honest with you, with the players that we saw today, that's not even really an issue, right? Yeah. But they're, so, they're also ahead on points at this at, at this stage in the game. But for some of those players that we saw in top 16, some of those players that we saw in top 32, you have to imagine that if they want to make a serious bid for that World Tour final spot, you have to imagine that that's something that has to cross their mind, right? But regardless, yeah, we'll see how it plays out. Once again, this is the third uh, challenger event for the Tekken World Tour 2019 for the Asia region. We got one more coming up, I think, the month after EVO in Malaysia, if I'm not mistaken, Definitely. right? And then after that, we go back to the Masters events. Got Rev Major in the Philippines. That's going to be crazy. And then you got Tokyo Tekken Masters coming later this year. Then, y'all, yeah, also non Tekken World Tour events as well, right? You got We're looking forward to Master Cup. We're looking forward to uh, oh, that's events like be that. that's going to tight. Yeah, coming through September, in September, right? Yeah, before the World Finals, of course, but in uh, the fall in that kind of uh, in that that time span got a panel coming up san, san diego later this month too oh you do yeah uh where san diego uh, common Com -Con, Con? yeah so rod and i have been doing that for the past four or five years i think mm -hmm. uh, we got some really cool guests this year uh from outside of bandana Namco as well so i would definitely check it out if i were you going to be in the town it's going to be awesome uh also evo master plus coming up less than a month now about a month I know better than to ask for anything, but uh, don't ask yeah, me for. I know better than to ask you for anything, but don't uh, ask me for. I have to. <laughs> I have to imagine. Yeah, a lot of people looking forward to what you guys are gonna uh, be showing off there for sure. Well, you know, I mean, Tekken is really, it's really hot. Like everyone's talking about, uh, attendance at tournaments is up year over year. Viewership of the tour, uh, everything you guys have been participating in really uh, gives us a lot of power to do new things. So. It sounds, uh, uh, it's yeah. a kind of a negative know. connotation to say it's an anomaly, but you got to remember this is, this game, uh, you know, maybe the Western community maybe felt some ways about when this game was an arcade. It took a very long time for it to come out on console, but in the in the end, you know, maybe that worked out for the best, right? The game comes out with such a strong sense of polish, and now you see the community uh, globally now rallying around the game, producing a lot of participation and activity around, again, there's, dude, there's something for this game every week. It's crazy. Yep. Uh, somewhere in the world, it's, something's going on. Sakahoshi, uh, the CEO of Well Played. Hey, man, you lied to me. I asked what? Kawasaki if, uh, how much the hats were. He said they aren't for sale. They were selling the them. The frog hats. No, he said they didn't sell. It's it's, uh, it's only if you win the tournament, the three-on-three. Three. Maybe for this one. But what I'm saying is last year they were on sale. They were $130. Maybe someone bootlegged it because he, he said they don't sell them. I mean, that was them. I was... I was like, hey, can I get one? They were like, it's $130. I was like, okay, never mind. Oh, that's the Obama price. Okay, I got it. I understand now. Thanks. <laughs> we can go ask them if you want one still. Yeah, so once... No, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I, can't, I can't imagine there are too many places where you read that in Buffalo. <laughs> Kokoma. Yeah, Kokoma walking away. Third place this, this tournament. Rewarding cash prize. Once again, this, this event had a uh, cash pop bonus, right? $5,000 equivalent to a Masters event. Definitely. Well, a medal, too. The sponsors, man. They're helping us out. Guess a pendant? Chad, let me know if you like those frog hats. Kosak san was asking me, hmm, should I make these available? I heard he's going to be at Evo, perhaps. Yeah, no one with really good performance this time. He showed off Steve in tournament play, and he, he got the job done too, right? It was a really good pick until he ran into you know, the brick wall at the end, but... Second place finish for him, adding some more points to that uh, Kokomo Challenger didn't get team. the win, but he his performance was really solid uh, in that match. This whole team. weekend, yeah, for sure. Definitely really strong. And you, 
dude, he, I mean, beating Chikorin and Winter Side like that, that was a that was a really good set. He played he played really sharp this whole weekend. Knee taking the cash Knee. prize though, taking the points. You know what to expect, man. Uh, yo, give me a snap. I wanted to snap his fingers. Again. He's cool, man. He's always been very graceful. Damn, they gave him the frog He's head. He's never asked me for shit. <laughs> Damn, right? Is, is, is his team okay with that? <laughs> He's part team Yamase now. Yeah. Nah, I think they're cool. I mean, Rocks, they work a lot with uh, I'm just joking, yeah. It's team, Yama it's team Yamase, yeah. Like, uh, obviously, okay. Call Saxon on stage to the right. That's the guy you need to talk to if you want those hats. They make pink ones too. Yeah, I saw that. They're actually an in, uh, in game item as well. The, the yeah, yeah, that's true. That's what I'm saying. We need some more stuff like that. We're, we need more collabos, Michael Murray. More collabos in game. Uh, I'm sure there's some people that care about custom stuff like that. Show me, show me some cool stuff like that, man. Dude, you don't even know, man. <laughs> This is the well played guy, right? Yeah, this is Akahoshi. He's the CEO of Well Played. He uh, helped, of course, organize and throw this tournament.